Mic check, mic check. Check this out. My name is Joe Button. And when it's just not starting this pod, we on some real hip hop shit, you heard? That was some real old school intro. Man. Oh my God. Yo, and that's another thing, yo. I hear y'all out there like telling me, like some of the young heads, it's like, yo, Joe, man, I hear how you be talking about us on the pod. All of us is not like that. And I understand that, man. But listen, some of us was really outside when this record was out, yo. I, yo, the phones was on blast. Niggas were trying to figure out who shot you. <laughs> Y'all put it in a record. Who shot you? It's different. Y'all just say it. Uh, and y'all say who you shot. And the details. And, and we'll make a video. And <laughs> but this energy here, this you got to understand it. Oh. Mic check, one, two, one, two, one, two. Salutations, hope everybody's feeling good. I'm in a real New York mood, but I'm from New York, so it's all right. I'm from Jersey, by the way, in New York. Shout, shout from to both Puff. somehow. Huh? They're from both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My formative years. <laughs> yo, oh, why is Puff? Nine, nine or ten? Why shout is, to Puff, yo. Shout when, to Puff. When you moved to Jersey? When I moved to Jersey? No, I was 13, 14. Uh, you kind of yeah, from, yeah, yeah. from both then. Yeah, you kind of from both You from more from New York, probably. Yeah, you know, no, you from New York. Yeah, I don't think you know if you could claim Jersey no more. What? <laughs> Thirteen in New York. Then you did some down south farming and all. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if you. Yeah, what are you talking man? about? We gotta. Re- we I got this your Jersey card. How many years you lived in South Carolina? It's when did I live in South Carolina? You said you went to high school in South In Carolina. North Carolina, Laurenburg, North Carolina. I went to high school. Okay. How many years? That was a year and a half. No, about a year. Then they put me in school in Jersey, and I didn't like it there either. Got out of there. Enough of the school. <laughs> got, got out of there. Enough and they said, all right, go go to the little Votech school. And went there. There wasn't no chicks in there. Uh, <laughs> wasn't like no chicks. Carpentry. There was, gonna there be was a no chicks in the Votech school. I think they just they just wanted me to be something. What were we going to be? What was your trade? I don't know if they saw a lot of hope. Go be something. Be it over there. Get the fuck out of this school. <laughs> yo, be it over there. Whatever no, bro, it is, that's I don't terrible. Care. Yo. Then they went and sent, then sent me to a summer school. That was that. <laughs> that didn't pan oh, out. Oh, summertime? Nah, I'm not. 80? Yeah. yeah. No. Then they sent me to some little school that was just smaller. That was the Bergen School, right? <laughs> no, Bergen School was big. Oh. I know y'all don't know that there's a Bergen School because y'all are in the Gardley. <laughs> <laughs> but there was. I turned it off to say, "Yo, y'all hear Puff being petty?" I said, "Nah." <laughs> Wait, shout to Puff. I said, "He took he took that track up a notch." Microphone check. One, two. What is this? Welcome to episode five hundred one of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few really good guys. Parks is here. Yep. Ish is here. Ice is yo, here. Yo. Corey's here. Uh, my baby Trey is here. We got the young boys in the back. Salute, 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 salute. Yeah. They, yo, have some energy back there, dog. <laughs> yeah. We ain't put a mic that back a, there. That was a dry year. Yeah, yo. we ain't put a mic back there for y'all to sound sleepy. Y'all good or not? Yeah, we just working. We just. <laughs> oh, we ain't got time to play. Touche, touche. Oh, ain't got time okay. to play back there. I got you. Glad to have you back, Scream Man. Welcome. Thank you, brother. So, how's everybody feeling? What's going on? Chilling. I'm cool. Chilling. You always cool. Low, low key weekend. Same. Yeah. It's that yeah, time of year. Week, weekend was low key. Um, went to the little Celtics and uh, who we put it play last night? Celtics and Pacer game in the metaverse. Uh, oh, good seats. Good floor seats. Floor seats. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, me, dog. Is it? It. It really looks like you're sitting on the floor. We were sitting on the floor. Me and G Spin went. Does it? A word? <laughs> you went with somebody? You had a date? G, G, nah, not a date. Go to the, went to the game. He hit me like, yo, what time you going to the game? I'm like, 7.30. Does it cost more to get the floor seat? Most, nah, right? No. Nah, it don't cost free anything. right now, right? It's free. Yeah. Really? This it's is all beta shit. Oh, like, okay. yeah, they're, they're getting us hooked. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're going to roll it out. We were sitting right there. That's pretty fly. Watching niggas run by. Yo, you, you sat on the floor before? In the real life game? Not trying to be funny. No, sir. Sorry, I, I don't. You, yo, you wanted them dudes. Nah. Yeah, yeah, bougie, <laughs> bougie, bro. No, nah, but you you, sat, I've never. I'm not trying to be funny. No, yo, you wearing my shirt? No, answer. I'm not trying to be funny. 
No, <laughs> like, don't, don't let him gas. You the guy that's, say that's, that's, that's how I took it. That's how you. That's how I took it. That's what you're doing. I ain't trying to saying. diss you or nothing, but I'm gonna diss you. That's I was trying to wear. Now that's my shirt. <laughs> Yo, it fit right. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to be funny. It's mine. <laughs> it's really mine. Look, you're like that's a nice shirt. You like? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Now nah, I was asking you in comparison to real. Doing, yeah, like how, how does it look? I went to buy one the other day, but they ain't had them on Costco, so. It looked like you're sitting on the floor. That's crazy. Yeah, you can go upstairs and sit in the nosebleeds, too. Like, they, the camera moves. Like, if you're in the, the, the upper level. Like, when they do the anthem and all of that, you're sitting far back so you can see everything. And anytime they have a... It was, I think it was Richard Jefferson and somebody else calling the game in the meta. Duh. So, it pulls up and you see them on the screen right in Fine. front of you. And yeah. You get up and walk around? Yeah, you can move around. You can talk oh, to other people there. Crazy, it's crowded as hell. Nigga. That's crazy. Yo, as great as that is... Somehow, I, I think I've had a more interactive sports experience than you. Let's hear it. Yeah, let me hear it. What game you said you watched? Uh, Celtics and Pacers. What day was that? That was last night, Monday. Yeah, the game before that, they had the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> they I had know. the Knicks. Yo, I really, <laughs> I, and I really sat in my bed and got in touch with how some loser sitting at home can affect the game. <laughs> Want to hear this? Long story, less long. Opening night at the Garden. I go to the game. The Knicks beat the Celtics. <laughs> I DM Jason You felt Tatum. like something? <laughs> I, I, I DM Jason Tatum. I ain't get a chance to say what up at the game. <laughs> ah, nigga. <laughs> ah, y'all trash. We here. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> He said, bet, I'll see you in January. <laughs> that was like sports lingo. Yeah, no, no, no that ain't so just sports. J- January comes, I'm sitting at home. Nigga say, bet. I turn on the TV, what do I see? I see R.J. Barrett hit the game winner over Jason Tatum. Mm. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> right to the deal. I jump right. Yo, Yo, dog. I thought you said hey, January. Like January. Was like, January. I said, yo, what happened? Nigga dropped 40 cent. He was going crazy. <laughs> he said whatever he said. And he said, we got y'all Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> I said, it's like this Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> at, at, at Boston? <laughs> he said, Yeah. <laughs> And then I didn't even watch the game. <laughs> I bet but, you did. But when I turned it on in the, in the third, we wasn't looking good. We was down by like 30. It was bad. And I said, I thought about Spike Lee. Mm-hmm. I just thought about all of the people. Mm-hmm. Put a battery in the back. That mm-hmm. really could piss an athlete off that don't have nothing to do with the game. <laughs> now you team. just made that person yep. mad. And now watch. Now he got to take it out on your team. I yeah. all of a sudden saw all of Tatum's Kobe workouts in the summer <laughs> flash before me. Like, you playing with a nigga that learned footwork from a Kobe. A, bo- a bona fide like, killer. Like, because you home, bored. Mm-hmm. Like, with no jump. Go find something. No, I can't dribble. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no business, but we'll play them again. We'll play them again. I'm sure you want to DM them before the game? Nah, Evan Fournier didn't play that game. Our Celtics killer. Whoa. Our nah, Celtics. Game. That's what it was. We not. St- hey, he scored forty one or some shit on him a couple of days early. Yeah, but we not starting did. with sports. Yeah, yeah. But that was my uh, take. That seems. I'm gonna chill out. Yeah, yeah. Just leave him alone. I'm gonna chill out. Let them. Let I'm them done. be the athletes. I'm and, done. Yeah. You yeah. Chill. I'm done. I get tired watching them run up and down. Word. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get mad if I get mad if I gotta run down if I forget something from the kitchen and gotta run downstairs. Yeah, this forty life is different. Nah, dog, them niggas are the supreme athletes, no doubt. Wow. Listen, what's up? So you did the metaverse. What do y'all want to start with? Yeah. I got a bunch of stuff that I don't really want to discuss. You want to start with hot sauce? You want to start with report cards? You the boss, bro. Lead the way. We just work here. <sighs> <laughs> Look at the decisions you have you're forced, forced to make here. Report card. I don't care about. All right, report yeah, card. Kumo D's a hater, yo. <laughs> well, he was in '98 at least, or whatever Respect. year this was. Respect. But we knew he was a hater in, in whatever year that was, man. All right, Kumo D put out a report card, but this is from the '90s, right? Mm, yeah. yeah. He made this in the '90s, the late '90s. Yeah, this has to be. He made it. this in the late '90s. Yeah, he's wild. 
No, I know that got that can't has be right. To, has to be. Has to some be. of the names yeah. on the list didn't got come out in the late nineties. Yeah, cannabis on there, right? Yeah, cannabis, cannabis on there. All right, so he made this list in the late nineties, and I like his, I like his metric. Yeah, I like the. Mm-hmm. Uh, I yeah. love the metric. I love that. And he based it. He he graded rappers like a report card based on vocabulary, articulation. This is basically sliders, like we talked. Yes, used to mm-hmm. talk about mm-hmm. creativity, originality, <laughs> vers- uh, versatility, voice, record, stage presence, sticking to themes, and innovating rhythms. Pretty good metric. Yeah. Great metric. Yeah. Um, and there are a bunch of rappers here: Jay Z, DMX, Master P, Big Pun, Snoop, Nas, Corrupt. It's a long list. A lot of rappers. And why was this recently released? I don't it know, just, re- it just it. resurfaced. Somebody yeah. found it, and hey, look. See, and that's what I mean about y'all out there with just too much time on your hands. Who was home and said, "Hey, let's Let review Google the Cool Mo D report card <laughs> from the late '90s"? But it worked. Here we are. Here we are. And here we are. See, I don't want to be here. We are. I could find some other shit to talk about. But <laughs> we ain't got to talk about this. We're here now. Go ahead. I'm tight. What was egregious to you guys? Come on, dog. I'm asking. He spelled Rakim wrong. He spelled corrupt wrong. He spelled a lot of things wrong. All right. We're not, we're you not can spell corrupt here. wrong. You can't yeah, I'm spell not Rakim spelling wrong. Police. Fuck you from New York. Yo. You any, can't be trying to be funny. In the late 80s. <laughs> good point. Yo, in the late 80s. I mean 90s. To have fucking. Go to the next page. I, nigga, Nas only got an 84. In the late 90s. That's, that's blasphemy. That's crazy. Nigga, Nas was a fucking 99.99999 in the late 90s. And shit, Hov was only 82. No, no, Nas was ranked higher than Hov in the late yeah, 90s. Yeah, no doubt. In 98 I'm not or whatever. doing this with Cool Mo D, yo. <laughs> Fuck you. You would talking? not do this to Nas' face. Nas will wrap you up. That nigga has mystical rank higher than Nas. <laughs> 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 when you put it like that Sticky Fingers is ranked higher than Nas No disrespect to none of these brothers But in the late 90s Nas, Nas was, was fucking dude. He's coming off of it, uh, it was Nigga written. it was written yeah, In the late 90s Now think, at, any, at, any, at, any, at any point Ew. in life I'm not well, doing this do He's wild But you know what I do respect the fact that he did it I do mm-hmm. Yeah I do I did this and got punched in the face <laughs> Shut up man What? Nigga got mace as a, a 79 Come on, in the late nineties? Yeah, Paul, what, what was Paul? Eighty two or something? Mace is fish grease in the late nineties. Yeah, so is Paul. Yeah, he got Mace at a C plus and got pun at. But a, a lot 82. of people don't really respect Mace. They don't be respecting Mace, but in the late nineties, you would have got Lauren Hill at ninety seven with an A plus. Man, got all tens and everything with nines in records, stage presence, and sticking to themes. Everything else is tens. I'm, I'm, whoa, not mad. Whoa, I'm not whoa. super mad at that. Now wait, guys. Now using that metric, you go individually through all of the categories. Yeah, I'd much rather talk about hot sauce. Yeah, let's talk about hot sauce. <laughs> this is, this, is, this is disgusting, yo. <laughs> this is nasty. He wanted to beat. That's all that was. My, 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 <laughs> my point of view on this is this is just off. And I do like the metric system, though, yeah. I, I love the, it. I like the grading system. I love it. I'm not dignifying a hip-hop conversation from somebody who has mystical ranked ahead of Nas. And Jay-Z. I'm not doing that. And I like Kumo D. And mystical. I like all of them. Yeah. Kumo D's an OG. But this is some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, yo? Yo, Mysticals rank higher than Raekwon, oh, right. yo. You got Ledge? Stop. All right, come on, man. Look, I'm How just looking at the thing. Yo, this is nuts. <laughs> L, wait, fam. Raekwon at 86? I mean... I'm going to say this, but I'm not talking about Cool Mo D. We got to start putting the, the line between the old niggas that have aged gracefully and their skin is looking beautiful, voice sounds great, they still fucking got a family that loves them, still have a functioning brain with thoughts that we need and want to hear from, they're still sought after... Versus the old niggas where life's gotten the best of you. And it's a lot of y'all. I'm not talking to, no, I'm not talking to nobody on this list. I'm broadening the conversation. Okay, that's an important state. Kumo D can't rap better than me. <laughs> no, I can't. At no point ever in life. Um, that's, Please, no, stop. No, I'm not even no, dignifying um, this. No, Yo, um, keep going. No, um, what, but I'm just that. saying. Like, Big Daddy Kane is out looking beautiful, <laughs> showing young people a thing or two about breath control. You can see why he was that amazing. 
I'm not putting this on Kumo D because I don't know that Kumo D put this out. I don't even know that he published this. <laughs> Good point. So I'm not putting this on him. That's a wild. <laughs> if you were just like, you know, I should put this on Kumo D and put it on the internet. <laughs> That's a crazy <laughs> thought process if it wasn't him, though. It was an old hat. But I would be mad if 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 I if even I wrote this in the 90s and then somebody put it out Facts. 20 years later. Like, to do what? To do what? To get you slandered. It worked. Spark conversation. Same shit they do with old tweet. Never mind. Go Spark ahead. a conversation. <laughs> Damn, this is an old tweet, basically? You yes. And you can't talk about, you can't do this. I do like that somebody did this, though. Because <laughs> you can't do this. You can't do this, yo. Fair. Go ahead. Teach I us, was, Ish. Yeah. No, I'm just saying I was outside. You can't give KRS-One a lower vocabulary score than Kumo D got. Well, he made it. <laughs> he juiced got a his own numbers a little bit. He's Benzino on source, man. Back. You got to give yourself four and a half. <laughs> Did you guys hear Reason say that Fab? I was, was going to bring that up. Yeah, that Fab raps better than um Andre. He would, and I think he said that specifically he would beat him in a versus or could beat him in a versus. Reason, we love you here, man. Nah, that is my man. Rap, it, it. rap is subjective. I would call him, but <laughs> no, I don't, ain't. Do that. don't do that. There. I'm not. I'm not because I love. I love this brother, and we love Fab. But that's uh, that's three three stacks, man. I don't think what he's what he said. Let me say this. <laughs> Let me read this. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say this. It's a whole lot of stuttering. <laughs> no, no, no. Because look, this it's, is what he said. It's a lot of people he that said, feel like him. He said it's a lot of people that feel this way. Who? Who? And where Name you them. can't you can't call five he, people in your phone if you like this. You can't call yes, three I people will. in your phone. No, yes, you I can't. Could. No, yes, you I can't. Could. I challenge you. Got you got Fab somewhere in your phone? No. <laughs> hey, ish, ish, ish. Call me. No. Yeah. Oh, uh, but no. What, what Reason said was Fab outwrapped Wayne. If you can outwrap Wayne, you can outwrap Andre 3000. He's outwrapped Wayne on records. I'm not saying it's easy for Fab, but I think if Fab came in with the mindset of I want the best verse. I think Fab can outwrap Andre 3000. That's what he said. Aha. Uh-huh. That's different. That and that is, that's why I'm trying to give y'all what he that's said. That's different. And one, not the clickbait. Not read, the clickbait. He could this. beat him in a versus. And that was probably uh, misleading information. He said, we need a Fab versus Andre versus. Oh, okay. Versus only I got Fab. Somebody hand me the aux. No, he's still going to lose that. He's going to lose that. He's going to lose that. But I do like I the first example. That. I do uh, like the if they're on a song together, that, yeah, I, he could get I the better one. Lose that. I said Fab will not lose that. I said I don't think like he what he's saying here. He's saying give him versus the verse versus a verse versus of twenty verses. I don't know if Fab loses that. He does. I could be wrong. I don't know. Yet. I don't know if Fab loses that not, with the I'm, right twenty verses. Y'all. And no, those were not the right twenty verses he played versus kids. See, you're a musician, uh huh. So you're getting into musicianship bag. I'm. I'm Cut the music off, ad lib, just their verses. I think that's that goes even more in Andre's favor. I disagree. <laughs> I I don't know. I'm not saying Fab would de- guarantee I'm not saying a it's win. a wash because they're talking as fans and you're talking as a musician. And that's why I, just I understand what they're take what the music off. You're. I think that his and that's voice why I'm is trying more, to shut up. Take the music off. I think his voice is more interesting. That, that helps Andre Fab's even work, more. Fab's, Fab's wordplay word is a different ball game. We're not gonna do that. And Andre's isn't. It, it, this nigga's witty, man. Fab is a very witty nigga, bro. I understand this argument. I'm, I, I do too. I'm not saying he's going to win I'm not saying point. he's wild. I understand not the point. I get it. The point that if they got on a song together, Fab could get the better of him. That is entirely possible and feasible, and that is a very valid point in argument. Fact. A verse, 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 verses. That's a lot of verses. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Fab gets smoked. No he's disrespect. He's not getting Fab. smoked. Uh, he's not smoked. getting smoked. 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 No smoking. Smoked. I don't think neither one of them gets smoked. No smoking. Smoked. We're we just talking, talking versus let's, only. Let's, ex, let's expand this argument a bit. Let's do it. Your three verses off the top of your head from uh, three stacks would be, think for a second, and your three verses from Fab just off the top of your head would be, think for a second, I'll play some Jeopardy music or <laughs> something to <laughs> keep things going here. That's difficult. Um, it's hard. All right, so Joe Biden, Joe Budden, Joe Rogan walking the bar. <laughs> what are you? Who gets back first? <laughs> Yo, that's funny, dog. Um, nah, 
can't even really it's think. It's tough. I'm going to that. I'm going to shoot the Neo verse. Oh. And, like while, and while y'all think, I'll give you some more time to think and just fill this up with space. I'll try to resist Parks a little bit. And I and I agree probably with Parks. <laughs> Smoke? No. Oh, you agree That's that. all I'm saying. Trey wins. No. I, that's, I kind of agree win. with y'all too. But what I'm saying is, Parks in his phone, y'all better do something. Because when, <laughs> when he go in that phone, he I'm come back. Like he come I, back I, prepared. I'm terrible with But what I'm saying is this while I give y'all time. I'm doing that. Three stacks is who he is. And acknowledged and embraced by the world because of who he is. I don't know that they did that so much for his rapping ability. I just don't know that he can do that without his rapping ability. Like for him, it was a lot of style, pushing the envelope. A yeah, lot it, of was, it was a lot of relationship. Different. It was different. out. Some it of the things I'm just saying. Outcast. Some of the things that made him larger True. than life. Mm-hmm. It because wasn't all rapping. And that's where you get those that argue that, hey, big boy raps at the same level uh, as Andre, I'm and he's not as big. But he doesn't. And I love big boy. Huge me big boy. Too. Me too. But he he tore me up on Wild and Out. Love you, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Two niggas I wouldn't particularly want to write a rhyme against. No. Mm-hmm. But would if I had to. Um, <laughs> what a, uh, Damn, it was something else with three stacks. It was something else with three stacks. He's just larger he than He just was rap. different. Yeah, an outcast, the music contest. Too. No, he did. I, no, I know, but I'm saying the about. world, like when Bombs Over Baghdad was going crazy, he sung. Yeah. Bro, the video was When Bombs was Over dope. Baghdad went off. The instrumentation was dope. Their overall presence was dope. Y'all can't but jump in had... while I'm buying us time. Y'all supposed to be finding verses. Oh, I'm not finding verses. All right, I, so you are. I, no, 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 it's not even that. I'm, what I was I, saying was, top you said the top three. Just any three. I didn't well, mean top three. Well, but what I'm saying is, Andre, like for me, if I had to pick top three, probably Sorry's going to go in there, 16's going to go in there. Like those, his introspection and all of that is just mm-hmm. light years ahead. His top three, if I take Fab's three verses, it's not going to be close. I'm saying out of, you know, so you'll get three points off of that. Mm-hmm. I'm saying out of 20 Long songs long. versus, not songs, 20 verses 20 verses, it will be closer than it ain't gonna be like a 19 1, something like oh, that. I don't think it'd be 12, that. That's all I'm saying. 12, okay. I think it'd be it 15 go, 5, though. I don't think it'll be. It, it <sighs> might. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be You're disrespecting five. Fab, yo. You okay. are. I like You're disrespecting Fab. Fab's pen. I just think that Andre is a fucking uh, yeah, one yeah. of a lifetime talent, and that's. What you gonna play when that, that uh, Andre verse from uh, Kanye shit that just dropped plays? Right. Y'all like that or, verse or, more than or me. Or Elevators, or uh, uh, Aquemini, or um, the UGK record. Those are the points. You're naming the guarantee points. Yeah. I got some fab. We just talking verses. I have some fab freestyle verses that are amazing. Amazing. Yes. A different right. level of yes. mental play Sorry. with words mm, right. we and un- all that. We've yeah, unpacked different. it. Come on. Yeah, hot, hot, sauce, <laughs> hot sauce, sauce it is. is. Hot sauce it is. Hot sauce it is. And I mean, we don't have to do it. <laughs> Because it's just been a slow news week. Yes. I don't even believe it, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's a little It's, a little it's on the internet, though. You're right. This yeah. is true. It's true. You're absolutely right. I didn't even... Yeah. So tell them what happened, Joe. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting, This yo. is nuts, really bro. Is. But you know why it's not disgusting? Because there really is a culture of people who want... This information, this tea, this behind the scenes. They love this shit. They eat this shit the up. The stories from hoes. <laughs> Wait, there's hot sauce involved. She didn't make herself look great in the story. No. Young lady says she slept with Drake. See, and that's fucked up if you Drake. You somewhere minding your business. Minding your business. <laughs> Chilling. Low key. If and just some random person <laughs> just decides to put some shit out. That it don't matter if it's true or false. Just your name being in it is enough. Yeah. It's enough to get traction. She's lying Yo, anyway. Pay, pay it, pay yeah. it. I heard it, pay yeah. it. I heard it, <laughs> pay it. A dollar in the cup from Ish. The story is catching. allegedly Drake and some girl uh, had sex. He went to the bathroom, took the condom off, threw it in there. She went in there after to try to put some cum inside of. Well, I don't know what she was trying to do. I don't think that works. Shocked. Maybe it does. She I was know. shocked to learn that it smelled like hot sauce. No, no, she, no, 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 Allegedly, no. she poured it into herself and then it started got burning. Then realized it was, it was Frank's. Yeah. We put that shit on. And everything. had the nerve to have an attitude with him. She's sewing him. She, from, from what allegedly. Heard. According this to the yeah. Yo, This yeah. is a fake story. It's it's fake. Fake. This is not real, and it's we are better than this. We are. <laughs> this is fake. I, I you are correct. 
You are correct. I cracked the case on my Aquapana scam. What you got? There's a scam? There's a scam up the street from me. <laughs> <laughs> they know you want it? There's wanting? a scam up the street from me. Now, I like them. I'm listening. Go ahead. Did you put your dollar in there? I'm about to throw it over there, nigga. You got to miss. He parks house nice Please. when I <laughs> just oh FYI. But go ahead. Yo, he will try not to put the dollar in there. I, I'm, I'm balling the dollar up the show. He's trying to hit the you are like, You're a real life child, yo. Look at this guy. <laughs> no, I'm just, what am I saying? Aquapana, 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 up the street. Up the street. I like the place. So I'm not really going to, I'm not, the, who they are, it doesn't matter. Okay. And I tip my hat to a good scam. Mm -hmm. I do. So I go there, I order a water. Guy brings the water to me. Aquapana bottle, no cap. Mm. Don't taste like aquapana. I drink it. It's aqua I don't even pay no mind to the fact he brung it without a cap, but that's a little fishy. Yeah. Cool. I drink it. I instantly could tell this is not aquapana. If you're listening out there, they're like, that sounds weird. What the fuck are you, some type of water tester? No, it just so happens I've been drinking a lot of aquapana lately. So if you give me a fake one, I can spot it. And this wasn't a good fake. It's like toilet water. It's like tap water. Might have came it Tastes like some shit that should not have been in the bottle, but it's cool. Young little waiter comes over in a time where it's tough for niggas to get jobs. I question him. It's just who I am. Yo, dog, where's the top to this water? He <laughs> says, I was just trying to be a gentleman, Joe Budden, and pour it for you. Mm -hmm. Can't get mad at him. Mm, sure. I don't think that he's he in on the line in the top. No, I just don't think he's in on the scam. I'm sure the restaurant says, hey, this someone is, orders this shit. This is, the young, yeah. this is how we do it here. Yeah. The young guy, I don't think he's, they allowed him to be part of the scam. Yeah, and okay. I can't prove it's a scam. Cool. You, you're probably right. I leave. I come back the very next day. Same waiter guy. Mm. I say, hey, let me get a water. With the and don't be a This don't time, open. don't remove the cap. He thought I was shooting at him. Mm. He says, Joe, I really was just trying to do you a solid. I said, it's not you. It's but me. please, bring the cap. Don't you know he brings the cap over? But it's still off. Pardon well, me. It was, it's a beer cap. It's one of the things that's on the top of like a Corona that you press on. Oh, yeah. That's, that happens sometimes. Bottle waters come with a beer cap on. Nah, I show, no, me, no. show me an aquapana that comes. Nah, aquapana that comes like that in your life. They press the cap on there. That comes with a twist off. Yeah, uh -huh. Pellegrinos sometimes come with at a restaurant. Pellegrino they come with the, the, the beer oh, yes. cap. Yeah, aquapana. You can't get aquapana or Pellegrino oh, look, in the store usually. Oh, look, it is a bottle cap. They got them. It is a bottle cap. Yeah, some sometimes you just don't. They don't sell it like that in the store, but at the restaurant they sell it with the bottle cap on it. Did it say aquapana on the cap? But that don't matter because they could just press that cap back on. Mm, not, nah, no, no, no. If that cap's been that. removed, yeah, you could put it on, but it ain't the same. Yeah. On American Greed, machine. on the wine scams, that's how they did it. They have one that puts that cap they got the little right machine. back on, fix yeah. it. Oh, yeah, they got a but you got to have a machine. Yeah, you can't. You're not you doing that. You don't think they the... got a machine in there? No. That's that's going a long way to save it's going a long way to save $2. <laughs> They charging seven dollars a bottle for what might be toilet water, and y'all are saying the machine <laughs> costs too much over the life of the business for per in perpetuity. And y'all are saying the machine costs too much. I just want to make myself clear. It seems like a, 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 a hard stretch. One. Personal, yeah. personal opinion. It's a hard one to say. I, I don't save think so. a for, for a for a seventy dollar bottle of Hennessy. They what? might go the extra mile. No, for a three four hundred dollar bottle of wine. For a three four hundred dollar bottle of wine, some, you go the extra uh, mile. Yellow tail in there and dressing it up like it's something else. Yeah. Yeah. Do y'all know that the sound factory in the old club that shut down in New York that was 24-7 mm -hmm. made a million dollars a week damn near off water? Yeah. I believe it. Mm -hmm. But y'all telling me that for Hennessy, you understand it. For water, you wouldn't understand somebody They made a million dollars off water. What do you think they made off Hennessy? But you talking Yo, about how many people you? Oh wow, this is such an interesting conversation. No, you're comparing no, you comparing a a nightclub in the biggest city yeah. in the country? No, I'm comparing a place that's open for business twenty four hours for eight hours, eight hours a day, uh -huh. and the amount of people that come in and say, "May I have bottled water uh -huh. for the day, every day," and the markup that is, is, is getting Aquapana, seven dollars a bottle is from Aquapana, nothing is Aquapana the only water that they sell? In bottles, that's the bottle. That's yeah. the only bottle. So if you yeah. say bottle water, yeah. that's, okay. what, you that's get. what comes. Okay. This, this is my. I might be there. Now you wait. wait no, got, now y'all yeah, gonna make me pull the calculator out. No, it's a cost benefit though. So that particular recapping machine might cost a hundred grand. 
if I make five hundred dollars extra a day off of my water scam, mm. why wouldn't I think that that's worth it as a business? You, it would be. Granted, liquor, I may make more, mm-hmm. but they're that probably scared of that too. That though, sounds. Not that's not, and that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm in disbelief. We know what they're doing with the liquor. Some places, absolutely, yeah. mm-hmm. absolutely. Seen it. Like even seen it, tasted it, yes. all of them. <laughs> I've seen all of it. Yeah, I and I don't even drink. Seen it. Like, oh shit! No, nah, I don't even drink. But they'll take the bottle mm-hmm. and pour some house liquor in, mm-hmm. in the uh, what's the fancy shit now? The cancer Casamigos bottle oh, yeah. or any of that shit. They'll do all of that. Yeah. But with this particular, uh, the machines cost three, four, five grand. I just don't see it being when I could go up the street and get the shit dropped off get a case. for a dollar. Yeah, dollar, dollar. And I'm still bottle. marking it up. I thought that was a great scam. It, it's, it's on a, a wide scale, yeah. But if you're a mom and pop location, it may not behoove you. You're not selling 10,000 dollars If I buy a, a week. case of those, I'm probably getting them for two dollars a bottle. If that, no, they sell them maybe less than that. And if I'm marking up selling it for seven dollars exactly. a bottle, I'm I don't already need to winning. buy the machine. I'm already winning. I'm already up. I don't need the bottom machine. If my water scam can take care of three other bills, I don't understand what y'all are saying. I just think yes, it, you're already it's up. time consuming. Yo, we seen we've seen this. We see people that's already up putting up houses on some bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. true. Mm-hmm. There's a scam in everything mm-hmm. with people that's already up. Some people say that's how they got up. True. Yeah, <laughs> and I, they I'm can't not, stop. Listen, I'm not saying it's impossible. I just don't think you're saying you wouldn't do it. Uh, and I you're I saying wouldn't you wouldn't most, do it. Most I've worked at a bunch of restaurants too, and. They do the pour liquor in bottles. Liquor they do uh, bottle. your order house wine that's supposed to be mm-hmm. X bottle, and they're getting it from a box over here. I've seen all that shit. I've seen all types of bullshit. Putting a bottle cap on a bottle of water is pretty fucking. You gotta pay somebody cap. to be on the machine and cap the bottle. Like yeah. as a bartender, I'd be like, I'm not doing that shit. It's disgusting. Yeah. That's as a waiter, I'd be like, I'm not doing that shit. True. They wouldn't invite you to that scheme. Y'all, y'all, sleep, on this. Doing that y'all shit. sleep on that scheme. All right, I'm done. Let's move on. <laughs> Yeah, your brain. He think as a waiter he would be invited to my water scheme. <laughs> <laughs> you think the owner is gonna be back there camping bottles? I'm, I'm He's done. not doing that shit. No, but I think his cousin is, or I think his nephew is. I think somebody that he trusts is involved in his scheme Maybe. that no one should know Listen, about. Man, you the might be right. Right. Not the bar, right. not you the bartender right. with the BBL. You might be right. Uh, I never. Had she's not the one. I don't think. I don't. But men are getting them now. But in case you haven't, I'm sure they are. I said there's a BBL pill coming. <laughs> I'm sorry? And Ellie Chopper said he's he's creating a pill that'll give you a BBL and increase your breast size. <laughs> I like the way that guy's brain thinks. <laughs> <laughs> That's they what got, he said. No, bro. they got the breast pills already. Uh, I'm telling you what he's creating. It's a hormone enhancing thing. Men be taking it. Huh? Men be getting titties from a pill? Yeah. Look, wait. All jokes aside. Yes. But why? To because play, people to play with their own titties. No, people are who don't love a, a good pair of titties, man. A certain <laughs> walk of life, they want to be more feminine. So it, I think it gives you estrogen oh, and it okay. enhances your ability your to titties. create breasts. Yeah, for real. Okay. So yeah, he said in 2022, I will be presenting an herb that naturally works as a BBL, also increases breast size. For every 3,000 surgeries, there's one death. Let's naturally get to the body you want. I'm here to assist. Naturally. <laughs> I think people don't know what that naturally is not, yeah, That's not naturally <laughs> If the ingredients are from nature yeah. Alright all right, I'm just saying yeah, 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 yeah. That is, No Sam, that's stop, not naturally bro. It's okay. still a drug <laughs> So yeah So What's y'all mean? can stop going under the knife A drug And Ellie Chopper got y'all There you go Go, go, go. <laughs> Go That's get funny. you. Go get a little wheatgrass and get some titties, man. <laughs> Yo, your man said previously uh, he found an herb that treated erectile defu- dysfunction and obesity. You just be out there eating all types of plants. <laughs> <laughs> His brain is progressive. <laughs> uh, so is these herbs. Uh, man, that is funny. Oh, that is funny. Right, I mean, you got to salute a hustler, though. People are, I'm not people mad are buying into the all natural Damn, supplement game. Mad, I mean, man. fuck it. I'm not get mad. Get paid, young nigga. Get paid. Word. That That's should be a I bunch of it. bullshit, though. <laughs> <laughs> I watched them serve, sell Herbalife, man. Get paid. Yeah. Herbalife. Did. Herbalife work, Ice. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they still ain't got their checks yet. Oh, you were selling Herbalife. <laughs> <laughs> you sold Herbalife. Don't do that. You, you bought it? You bought it? Nigga, I'll stab you with this phone. <laughs> I saw a herbal life. What's wrong with you, yo? A um, couple of my peoples, though. They yeah. getting money, too? They're not getting money. <laughs> okay. They telling you they getting money. Mm-hmm. They're not getting money. 
Yo, how can we ever confirm if, if the person that is telling us they're getting money is getting money? Like, we why can't. do niggas say that? <sighs> Let's hear this. Because we can't judge. <laughs> Teach the, us. We can't judge. The, we can't judge the women that run around googling uh, niggas salaries and what certain jobs make a year. Mm. What's the dude way of that? Like, dude's just assumed. Nah, he getting it. <laughs> <laughs> From <laughs> Life. he might have six other businesses. You can't. <laughs> Just gotta believe. If could, no, if you could really do it, then they would separate the real from the fake. You can't. Just gotta believe. Wham. Some niggas got Benzes and they live in their mother basement. Other niggas riding around with. Some niggas got Benzes and they hot in the car every night, too. They hide in the car? They hiding the car. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, the yeah. truck looking for it. You're right. The you man saying? looking. Yeah, he's looking repo for man? Oh, yeah, he's looking for it. Oh, he don't be going to the garages. No, he can't. <laughs> He can't huh? go in the garage. But they, that's why they, they got don't have a garage though. So they got. Oh, hide you the know? Car. Are you fucking right? I know. <laughs> I know you know. Boy, I had the man. The man's looking for me a few times. <laughs> I know we used to be hiding up River Road. <laughs> <laughs> Your holy move is couch. There's no windows. <laughs> oh, that was that time. Hey, yo, you stupid, yo. <laughs> yeah, nah. I just started. Listen, doing it, living life that way, you learn like what the law is. They mm-hmm. was. They was. I didn't know they could take your car while you parked. Hey, Amen. What you mean? What you mean? You like, like if you at the store somewhere? If you are parked, if you're in it, you're in the, it, you're at the Walgreens. Oh, while you're oh, in it. it, this is when New York started. The the street walkers, they would tell your shit. They would knock on your window if they had your shit and they found it. Get out. This car's coming with me right now. <laughs> good luck with that. Yeah, nah. Shit. Good luck. What? That shit is already hooked you up to, to the you truck. Got, you got to earn <laughs> good this. Good luck. One. What? It ain't hooked up yet. You have Yo, to earn this. You gonna go to jail? No, I heard that. No, I heard that. Oh, this this is what I'm sorry. You might be right, but you from what I heard, they did it. <laughs> what you in? What you in yeah. the car? Yes. They said, "Yo, fam, get out the car real quick." Yes. And you, you got said, out. You said, "Nah." The ticket dude. Not a cop. It's not the, but it's not oh, okay. the ticket dude. It's oh, okay. not the ticket dude. That ticket nigga, man. These are, this was is a little meter made. It's not him. You earn your check you, today, buddy. I was about to say, if you let Miss Isabel take your car, something wrong with you. I'm not stopping for you, fam. No you sorry. out your fucking mind. You are crazy. nuts. Miss Isabel. Work. <laughs> you bugging. Nah, I'm good. I wish. That ain't happening. That p- police is something different, but I'm not. And you got the. But what kind of police? What they in? How many of them? I you and not still nah, trying nah, to run nah, from the police. No, 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 no. Fair enough. Or no. drive away not in New York. from the police. Not today. You don't want to do right today. Not today. You ain't going to right. You talking to Ice 21 years old. Ice 21 years old, I didn't want to see no Rikers neither. I don't want to see Rikers yeah, ever. But if I'm in the car yeah, and you on foot, hey, you going to earn it. On Hightown, on, on this season two episode, uh, the two girls break into the drug house, right? One of the niggas run. He run out the yard. It's a little regular gate. He couldn't hop it. <laughs> <laughs> the girl caught him. I was home laughing my ass off. <laughs> I said, listen, I know I'm old, but I could get over that without in touching a, that gate. Heartbeat. She wouldn't have caught me. Yo, high town. I almost hopped that ten foot gate if I ain't have them Sacconis on. <laughs> Listen, that's another way you separated men in the hood. Yes, you knew who could get away, you knew who could get away over yeah. certain gates and hop shit right, and you know the niggas that yo, you might as well just get arrested. <laughs> don't run because you gonna just and don't make run it the hot way. Yeah, don't, and don't run the way I'm yeah, running. No. Nigga, go run that way. Mm. But you were saying. I was listening to you. High town. You still calling this story? Oh, no, I'm fine. No, no. no, It's the high dog. I started watching it. That shit is mad, gloomy, dark. Ish, we have this talk every week. So how do you want it to go now? Ish, get you a 4K You don't like the gloomy, (laughs) dark shows that me and the rest of America love. Just get you a 4K. You like, like... I read an article about... uh, how they use the color gradients thing. I'll send it to y'all. It's Yo, the postal office, uh, they just put a podcast out. Maybe you should check that out. <laughs> like, maybe that's for you. You can hear how the mailing system was No, because you'll find created. a scam in it. Yo, the nigga had fake It's definitely envelopes. a scam in it, yo. <laughs> it's absolutely think, a dollar. Like, what's a scam in that, though? Look at Wait, him, he look don't at think him. it's a scam look at him, in the mail. You look. don't think it's a scam in a post office? I don't know. I don't care. There's nothing but scams that's, 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 that's like the OG look. scam. This nigga will find one. It's yo, lives, the envelope It just lives, lives blindly through the world. Like, no, I don't. You know all the scams around, dog. I know the you scams that come it. across. Yeah, some of them. That come across my life. I don't be caring about nobody else's hustle. You get what I'm saying? I'm Post not selling. Office is a scam. I'm gonna tell you. I'm that. not selling oxys. All them shit. I'm not <laughs> UPS. <laughs> all, FedEx, all the motherfuckers be stealing your shit. 
They leave a little paper on your door. You're never getting that box. My morning starts with trying to figure out the scam. As soon as I look at that little coffee Keurig. <laughs> it's a scam. Oh my God. Yeah. Right. What? I see how right. they. I see how right. they. Got, I see how they getting niggas now. I see what's going whole on. Whole pound with of coffee this. costs five dollars. Yeah, yeah, them little cups cost a dollar pop. Then I might go outside, hop in the car. You look at the cars. Ah, these guys. There's a couple different scams. You just that. see scams everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might get pulled over. You know why they're pulling you over in certain months, certain yeah, areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They acting a little certain more time. aggressive. Certain times. Yeah. Certain, certain people. Certain uh, cities in Jersey. It's a scam. Yeah, I go to the supermarket. Only self-checkout. Uh, okay. Scam. Just saved us $12 an hour right there. That's okay. Hey, I, I, I look out. I got my scam ish. on there, too. I look, <laughs> I look they, out. They, they're aware of it. I yeah, look out know. the window, and it be I don't be traffic. You don't see cars. It don't be... I look across the highway and don't be no cars. I be like, oh, niggas ain't outside. Something's up. <laughs> I'm telling you how it looks. I'm, I'm going to give you a hug when the pot on. <laughs> Yo, so y'all, Yo y'all, where's your brain going? I can't y'all, y'all, don't, y'all don't look at self-checkout as like a, a challenge? <laughs> <laughs> or is it just me? Two for one. It's definitely... the two for one challenge. All right, okay, the, okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Like, What's the challenge? Yeah, two for, how much two for one? <laughs> you going you gonna to think I'm going to check all of this out? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> two two for you yeah like yo, come all right, but what you do when, hey, the, yeah, when the machine start hey, yo, making noise it's the siren hey, yo, yo, yo. It don't do that. all right what you do when uh little miss jackie is sitting there with a little flashlight what no, no, yeah, well, now she, they always keep busy. one store worker yeah, there but she busy. yeah but she busy she of... busy because the one over there it keeps saying please take your item out the car yeah, so she gotta go help them ice you have a you have a daughter i was about to say Joe, with me. I, th- I think ice might need a raise <laughs> oh, not this again! <laughs> oh no! Hey, yo, dog! I hate when this if you happens. over there stealing asparagus, I'm gonna give you a hug it's too. Not, it's the principle that get the nigga them out your brain. That like, yo, I, I only get steal it off, things, so I'm gonna get it off. Challenge accepted. I only bro. steal things that if I get caught, I can act like it was a mistake. Like, oh shit, the gum. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, the batteries. But is that's my- what you can do that in the self checkout. Oh, no. Yeah. And y'all just saved twelve dollars an hour. <laughs> yeah, we, it was a this win for all of us. Twelve dollars. Even he, Steven. Yeah, he gonna get paid this steak less. is bananas. <laughs> he gonna get paid less. <laughs> I didn't know that's how he was living. <laughs> he <laughs> running around stealing groceries. <laughs> all right, buddy. Yo. <laughs> we gotta no self checkouts Yo, yo self checkout would be like, yo. oh, for real? For hey, real? Yo, that's for real. nuts. Bro. All right, bet. There is no self checkouts in New York City. I'm not gonna hold you. Uh, uh, it's not for anybody to be listening. I'm not doing that bad. <laughs> I got to be still. It ain't them about. Up. Yo, you such a classist, yo. Fam, you I, really are. No, I, I was trying to make a joke, but I'm not stealing oh, turkey bacon. A classist joke. I'm not stealing turkey bacon, my nigga. I'm good. That price be high though. It is. It do. <laughs> go go get some oxtail. I don't eat that, but oh okay. I, if I can't afford it, I'm not buying. It's it. not about can't afford. It's just a. We fact. don't need to. You got it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Challenge accepted. But I will say, in my brain, <laughs> in my brain. I do still be wanting to try them. That, like that's what it's for. Not, no, not self checkout. Athleticism. I be wanting. You want to get chased? I, I want to run. <laughs> I want to see if you can catch me. All right. Like when I go to the supermarket and get the crab legs from behind the thing, and he pack them up. I always laugh. He put the little price sticker there, and trust me <laughs> to, to walk to the register and, pay and for hand it. it to them. Well, I just want to run out one day. Man, one of them little 28 year old niggas going to bust And this nigga clumsy. He ain't going to make it out. He's going to slip. <laughs> no, nah, but didn't you see the one that knocked teeth. over somebody's car? <laughs> didn't you see the, the thread on Twitter about, I forgot what it was, uh, Uberfax or one of them shits? And they said, now that you don't work for the company anymore, tell all the secrets. Oh, yeah, that and was like wild. like 90% of them were like, if you run out the store, we can't do it. They did So you might as well have a blast. Yeah. I respect the Uber dudes ever since. You have, if you put a girl in there and she just started throwing up. <laughs> You, you respect the Uber dudes because that's a charge. Yeah, yeah it is. It's two hundred fifty dollars extra. Is it really? Yes. Oof. Cleaning and clean. a bad report, and you'll never be able to get another Uber unless the Uber is like a cool dude. Like if you don't go crazy, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not picking up. A but you're responsible for the person that you put in the Uber and what they do. Oh yeah, I've gotten some bad reports from that from putting someone else in the Uber. Huh? Yeah. Well, yeah. Why is my grade so low? And then you're like, oh, that's the day. I so if somebody gets in your in Uber, car. it's four in the morning, they come from the club, and they throw up in your Uber. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a charge, bro. That's, yeah, yeah, the charge Uber you. person gets a bad grade? No, no, no. The, the, no, no. no, the person who the called person who the Uber. Uber. Like, you oh, you call an Uber for a girl. Oh, gosh, she gets in the Uber yeah. and throws up. That's that goes on you. on you. The charge and the bad grade. They don't grade. even know this girl. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. You caught that Uber. Yeah. That makes sense. Your account. No, that makes sense. Um, What else we got? This is going to hurt my soul to get into Jaheim versus Usher, but we have to do it. Who's doing that? Everyone. <laughs> well, Jaheim is. No, I'm say not everybody. <laughs> Jaheim says, and I quote, someone said it. Oh, he said, let's settle this once and for all. Someone set it up. Let's move all the pawns out the way. King move. But if you are scared, I'll just say checkmate. I'll give Usher one month to step up to the plate. Wait, wait, he gave him an ultimatum? Yep. <laughs> Nothing personal. He's one of the best, respectively. Then he said, I want all the smoke. Uh, you, the fans, can make this happen immediately. I'm so serious. Ja is ready. 20 nothing. <laughs> not 20 nothing. 22 to nothing. I was going to say maybe 23 <laughs> nothing. It could go 30 nothing. Uh, ja gets about four points. He does not get a point. He gets a point. Against Usher? Yeah. <sighs> All right, man. What's the point? That's why I hate these versus arguments. <clears throat> Jaheem has about. I like Jaheem, by the way. He just answered you. This is a point automatically, no matter what, against Usher. Lie, um, lie, lie. I'm not gonna say that. Okay, so they, so he didn't just answer. I want to preface me. this with Jaheim is from Jersey. <laughs> uh, I was about to say that. Hey, I don't like, I don't like what y'all doing. I don't like that. Just Jaheim did it. We did't, didn't do shit. But I don't like it. Everybody don't like was minding their business. Still, still, it's twenty-two nothing. There. Usher says. might get a point just for standing there. <laughs> he can't. Shout to Jaheim. One of the best voices we've ever heard in our life. He can't Usher come way close too many to, hits, he can't bro. come close to Usher in the verses, but I would he, I wouldn't be mad at him some versus someone else. Who? Case. <laughs> he better not never call Case name. Oh, I'm just trying man. to think of, He better not say He case. better not call Usher name. Oh. But y'all letting him do that? No, nah, Jaheim, my man. I ain't got nothing bad to say about him. I don't have I anything bad to say about him either. I, I, I like the confidence. It's big jersey. Um, Maybe he knows something that the rest of the world does not. He can't. Yeah, he know they're getting paid to do versus. They going to fuck you up in New Brunswick, guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah. Man, I love Jaheim. But no. like, we, who going to tell the truth? Y'all want to tell the truth? Want me to do it? Nah, you do Usher. it. It's Usher. You seen Jaheim lately? I have. Oh, my God. This is the ticket. This, this give me some bread. I'm down bad right now. No disrespect. It is what it is. Jaheim be in, in the strip clubs too, I ain't so I mean. <laughs> I don't. And he ain't no sucker. I've never said he is. Why are y'all trying to make sure I'm dissing this guy? He put this out here. I was minding my business. I said, dude, who wants to tell the truth? Everybody said no. So I said, okay, fine. Well, I'll tell it. Yeah. I don't want to do it. That's all. I'm not disrespecting the dude. You put this out here. He sung a, he sung a Christmas jingle on his Instagram the other day. It sounded amazing. After well, Christmas? Jane, leave Usher alone, please, yo. Yeah, that's all. That's all. That's it. Most please, people need yo. to leave Usher level. alone. Stick yeah, to the rivers nothing. and lakes you used to. Yeah, it's a different Don't level. go chasing waterfalls. Most people need to leave yeah. Usher alone. It's a hard, hard sale. Yeah. Just, Usher got a lot just of Just leave Usher alone. But if you leave him alone, like, listen, Jaheim got joints for me. Absolutely. No, Jaheim got joints 1, for me, man. percent And I hate when, even if my brothers put themselves in a position where the internet might say bad things about them, I don't want to do that. I'm trying to change that in 2022. Jaheim, nobody asked for this. Usher's not doing it. It's not going to happen. And let us let us hold you in the light that you're supposed to be held in. Not against. Like, Usher's different, man. It's not fair. But Ja now, leave him alone, man. That's all. That's all. Um, rest in peace, Bob Saget. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, that's sad. That's sad. 65 is too young. Yeah, that's very young. Bob Saget, legend. Uh, what day? What day was this? Saturday or Sunday? Stand up comedian, uh, stand up comedian and Sunday. actor beloved for his role as Danny Tanner on the 1990s sitcom Full House. Died Sunday at the Ritz Carlton Hotel in Orlando, Florida. Police confirmed to Variety. Shout out to Variety. He was 65 years old. Shortly after 4 p.m., police officers responded to a man down call at the Ritz Carlton, Orlando, Grand Lakes Hotel, discovered Saget unresponsive in a hotel room. The Orange County Sheriff's Office told, all right, he was pronounced dead at the scene. 4 p.m. That's sad. Super sad. Sounds like he was on the road too. That's 
That's rough. He might have been out on tour or something. Well, he was on tour. He did a show the night before. Right. Woke up in the morning and thanked the people that came out. <sighs> Damn. Like on the social? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's terrible. Extremely it's sad. Terrible. Extremely sad. Uh, just rest in peace. And a lot of us grew up watching Full House. Of course. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Not knowing that he was a, a, a real, real-ass comedian off off of Full mm-hmm. House and off of, what was the other one, uh, America's Funniest Videos. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, I forgot that. He was super clean-cut and family, yeah, American boring. family dad guy, but not in his stand-up at all. <laughs> <laughs> he was the complete Oh, yeah, he opposite. ran into some trouble about that. Um, when people were learning that. He kind of got away with it, really. He was... He was still the man, like the the American dad man, and again off 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 TV he was doing his thing. His uh, half baked appearance was legendary, man. <laughs> <laughs> legendary, yeah. Movie. You're in like rehab for opposite. weed. <laughs> I forgot he was in half baked. Yeah. 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 Bomb snack. It's been in mad stuff. No, nah, yeah. it's been wilding. He's all right. <laughs> in the movies. Yeah, forgot. Nah, Rest in the, white, the white delegation losing Betty Betty White and Bob Saget That's tough. in back to back months. We're down back. It's tough. We're, we're down back. We're down back. For real, wrong those two you? white people we have never known to be racist. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not that's of course we don't mean to highlight that during this segment, but No. No, you're right though. Just, 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 yeah, rest in peace. Rest in peace to uh Bob Saget. Bob Saget. Hey, we love you. To, uh, we miss you. James and Tume. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tume. Indeed. Rest in peace, 2022, still on our ass. Still head on the swivel. 2021 rules still in effect, still apply. For sure. Winter rules. Yeah, winter rules still in effect. All right, now I'm ready to pod. Uh, well, no. <laughs> not just yet I am ready to pod But not just yet I'm not typically a fan Of reboots Remakes uh, But Fresh <laughs> Prince of Bel Air Produced Executive produced By Will Smith By Will yeah mm-hmm. Is a series that's coming Exclusively to Peacock I'm a huge fan of Peacock And the shows that they have uh, And I just watched this trailer For the first time With you gentlemen It's my first time seeing it mm. Mine too No I, I saw it before I really enjoyed it It looks great it looks like they're attempting to do the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And it's called Bel Air. Not Fresh Prince, it's called Bel Air. No, it's just okay. a it's a drama. It's a, it's no longer a comedy. It's no more I I like that. Not I think just, it's a cool spin. I'm I'm leery though. I, but it's probably just nostalgia. I think that um in twenty twenty two, you could talk about way more shit socially. And it's on Peacock, you could curse, you could bring up more mature uh They did cover content a lot of social material. commentary on the original yeah. comedy, by the way, too. They did, but you couldn't expound on it and when was the original Fresh Prince? Like early nineties? Yeah, ninety yeah. early mid. early nineties. So mid, it's a different yeah. ball game. Um, you know, we've had George Floyd, we've had mad mm-hmm. racial shit, we've had gang violence, we've had all that stuff. I think they're gonna touch on it and all it is from the trailers that I see. Mm-hmm. Um I think it's a way more serious. From the sure. trailer, so I think this shit. It, to me, it, they, the trailer if, is any indication. This shit is a home run. It was certainly an excellent trailer. It's an amazing well trailer. trailer. It is an amazing trailer. Really good trailer, and I do like the seriousness of it. Like a lot of questions that you may have had about Fresh Prince. Like I always ask, well, what happened? Mm-hmm. Like the theme song mm-hmm. didn't mm-hmm. tell me enough about a fight at a basketball court in Philly, and and the. Uh, uh, Opening little montage, mm-hmm. that little bullshit fight. Get this out of here. What happened? <laughs> like, <laughs> as a kid that my parent probably thought about shipping me off, I was causing havoc. So, yeah, show me the havoc. True. Jeffrey, the black butler, where did he come from? I'd love to know. Like, just questions that you might have today. Carlton, if he wasn't a goof, like, he was he was all right, how would it look? And if Will Smith popped up at the white school and was really the outcast instead of the cool kid, like, right. they just, they just they got result, it. Yeah. it seems they like expounded. They expounded. Yeah. And just the trailer. On some things. And just the trailer. Was he accepted immediately at the school? Fuck that. Mm-hmm. Did Carlton accept him as now coming in, being a cousin with the, yeah, with the swag, yeah. taller than you, you know what I mean? Cooler than you, quote, and, we, and we never saw Will Smith have a fight in first round. I don't remember it. No. No. Like, but they couldn't show that shit on Channel 4. Is exactly. here from Philly, and you never even fought Carlton. On Channel 4, Channel you can't 4, get into that. Yeah. Well, Especially and, and the times, too. Well, that's why I'm glad this trailer looks like this. This shit looks dope. I yeah, prefer sure. this over a comedy, honestly. Like, 
I'm glad everything, everything not, don't have to be funny. I'm glad they're not rebooting it as a comedy. I definitely will say that. And that, like, they, we had the comedy already. That's kind of why I like, even though you're rebooting the show, you're giving it to us differently. And I, you I can't read that way. You can't, can't recreate Will that. Smith. Right. Will Smith is fucking Will Smith. He yeah. cemented in stone. What he did on that show is just amazing. You can't outdo that. True. So let's pivot and do something else. Mm-hmm. And I think, again, with today's social climate, et cetera, even coming from Philly, they show Philly. Mm-hmm. They expound on Uncle Phil more than just he's a lawyer. You got, you got. They expound on Uncle Phil as a, you know what I mean, a disciplinarian. I think this right. shit gonna be super duper dope. I wanna, I wanna shout out whosever idea it was to cast Easy the Block Captain from Philadelphia, new on the uh, battle rap scene and is going crazy, killing people. He's in this. Oh yeah, is it a battle rapper. I don't even yes. know what that is. Oh, that's they just showed him. He's in the trailer. I, I want to say he. He looked like the dude. That um that hit will at yeah, the basketball yeah, court the, ba- the basketball fight. oh okay because then they showed him in jail and I love oh, this trend I love this trend I love it it's probably my favorite new trend the young kids playing a role whether mm-hmm. that be Davies uh yeah. this young man Lil Meech mm-hmm. the Wu Tang kids Lil Meech showed up on uh, uh Euphoria Euphoria mm-hmm. I'm not watching Euphoria but a lot of people are watching it. It's a pretty good show. Some, some, I think you would like that. Some girl came like out and said Big Meech, uh, Lil Meech smells like red onions or some shit. <laughs> I don't know. She said he stinks. I don't even know what Euphoria is. So. It's a show on HBO. Uh, about- <sighs> Why do you love birds? <laughs> oh, my God. If y'all think I'm about to sit in the podcast and talk about how another man smells <laughs> from a guest, from a girl, I'm not. Ice wanted to, meet, uh, wanted to make mention of the Nelly bag with 300 grand that was lost that Nelly says is capped. That wasn't lost. I can't say. I can't. I don't know. If he says cap, we just going to roll with it. I, I, but you believe it. I believe it. Right. <laughs> it's on the internet. It's on the internet. It's on the internet. It's true. Um, that should be good, though. I, I, I'm hesitant, but it looks like it could be good. You, well, it, 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 fresh fresh prince. Prince. it takes a lot for a trailer to just get me right off the rip. I'm sold. Yeah, I'm sold. And I'm, I, I, Ish brought it up and he was like, yo, they're killing this online. And I'm, after watching this, I don't see what there is to kill. Me well, they ain't like, going to kill this and not kill uh, Equalizer 2. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what we're not about to nah, do. Nah, but they. <laughs> that's what we're not about to do. Somebody said Ross was on uh, Equalizer as an Somebody inmate. said, yo, when you really give Equalizer a chance, the shit oh. is super duper dope. Ish, I'm just making jokes. Well, like, I ain't you can get into the greatness of Queen Latifah at another time. I love her too. But the Equalizer. Speaking of trailers, did y'all see um, 50 the, um, Stars released a trailer for uh, Tommy? Tommy. Yeah. Yo, Fez, Fez from Euphoria is what Tommy they thought he was going to be. Do you watch Euphoria? I watched season one. Okay. I didn't start. The new season. Fez, the, the white boy drug dealer. Okay. He's dope. Is like a Tommy? He's the white boy drug dealer, but he is a much better uh, version of it. He's a better version of Tommy? Tommy is not real, like realistic to me. Oh, man. See? Hold up. Yeah. We, don't, we want to say this for Patreon or we no, going to get to it. Get, get right to it. Tell me why. He doesn't look like the white kids I knew that sold drugs ever my entire life. They weren't from Queens. They are from Elmira. Okay. I know some from Queens too. No, I'm just saying. So he portrayed you know, talk to be like the... him and act like him personally to me. That's all. I think Tommy's dope. So that means that <clears throat> that person can't exist. Or it's not realistic. Come across as realistic that's what to you me. Say when you say I don't, he doesn't think come it's across realistic. as realistic to me. That's all. Which means you can't imagine that character to exist. No, it makes it hard to imagine it. But when mm. you're asked why, it's, it's only because you I don't know that. somebody that it's like resembles. That. I don't know somebody that resembles that either. I don't know anybody that... But you know people that would resemble that. Mm -mm. The conversation I'm having with Parks boils down to this, right? Because it ain't even about what we're talking about. You have people that say that Tommy, uh, Joseph, his name is Joseph. 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 Sakura. Joseph Sakura. You have some people that say that him as Tommy is the worst actor in the world. And then you have people that say he's an amazing actor. When you ask the people that say he's a bad actor, you ask them why. And they say, because look at the character. He's a doof. And then I say, but that's the character. He was supposed to be the guy who didn't make the best decisions. That was the muscle who was partnered with a mastermind. And he played that to a T. He he was the loose cannon. Yeah. Yeah. Like when he killed Holly, the love of his life, I disagreed with the action. But the thought, it was like, all right, this is how a doofy loose cannon nigga who 
in a bit of rage might handle this. That's what I get from you saying this is not realistic. Ca- Maybe he's not driving I, I it home. I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I don't know about his acting skills in other things. I've never mm-hmm. seen him in other things. Sure. I'm not trying to shit on him as an actor. To me, the casting is just not believable. Like my know what I like about him, and and this is a stamp. I think that when people like white boys, right, when they befriend black people, mm-hmm. they say you're trying to quote unquote act black. Mm-hmm. He doesn't do that on his show, right? At he all. he stays true to I'm white boy. Just grew up around Queens. I had to fight every day in my life because I was the only white boy in the hood. My mother's white, blonde hair, all that shit. Like, he kind of identifies with his whiteness, and he just fucks with a whole bunch of black people. One thing I like... He don't it doesn't do the, come across to me, personally. What? That doesn't, what you what you're said. saying. What you're saying does not come across to me. You got it. In you the writing get, get and from, the way that he executes. He, he rides around in a fucking Must muscle be. car. I get what you're wearing saying. Wearing the I, most I, I, minimalistic I, I, shit possible. Opposite of Braylon from... Uh, Tariq shit. Kept, his, kept his money in the cabinet, told his side chick all the business, met her at the club that he shouldn't just, have met her at, defied orders when he told her not to fuck her, fucked her anyway, mm-hmm. challenged his partner mm-hmm. over it, <laughs> wanted to kill his, like, I don't know, man. I like it still Tom. has absolutely zero quote unquote stereotypical drug dealer shit. I understand what you're saying. You get what I'm saying? Don't wear no jewelry, none of that. Like, he don't, he not trying to be the drug he just out here wild this is where i will give a lot of credit to courtney kemp 50 and whoever's involved the backstory applied to every character is amazing dope mm-hmm. like i don't watch the uh show about Tariq, his kid but i see where they went with the story and, it's and that's coming. amazing it is good canaan to be honest. It's i coming. love it can't wait this tommy shit dog like when you just get back when i watched the trailer i got back to thinking about his role in the show his mom his yeah, dad, all of that. the role he played, they about to go crazy. Like, this is the one they might be waiting and for. And I can't wait for it, right? It's the reason he had this last. <laughs> yeah. Even Tariq started. You know when it was it. announced, you know when what, it was first announced, you know what everybody was this. like, we waiting for the Tommy shit, bro. We know that's going to be the one. See, and on the flip side, right? I won't watch Euphoria because it is targeted to children about children. It isn't really, though. It's Yeah, I don't, I don't. It's not. How not so? It's... Not targeted towards children at all. You should you not repeat, let your kids you, watch this you show. Repeating that don't answer. How is it not targeted to kids? There's nudity, uh, all types of cussing, violence. It's not targeted towards children at in, in the slightest. I would never let even like a 15 year old. I'd be like, no, nah, you probably shouldn't watch that. Okay, you know kids are watching the show, right? Probably. And because she's a Disney you, star, you know. And when you cast a Disney star, a mm-hmm. young one, one that looks young, one mm-hmm. whose entire demo is, are, is children. Uh huh. What are you saying? That this is casted to adults? And then we get off of her. This this takes place where? Why, in a why, school, right? But before you say that... This takes why, place where? Not in school uh, at all. I don't think... These are high school kids? A, they're high school kids. They're high school kids, but this doesn't take place in a school. So they are, But they're high school kids. It's not... It's, I don't... I'm not a fan of shows that are just, just surrounded about... Surrounded by kids. Watch an episode. Kids. I think you would change your mind. I watched I'm the really, first episode. I okay. watched the... I watched the first two episodes of season one. And... Look... In the school. Nothing about this will make my 41 year old ass watch. Now, I loved her in the film with uh, not Denzel's son. Uh, what's his name? I don't John call him Washington. Denzel. John Washington. Yeah. John Washington. I loved her there. That was geared to me. Stranger Things is geared to kids. Yes, it is. Yeah. Stranger Things is. They don't touch on any of the subject matter. I know that the this. subject matter, because this is HBO, is HBO ish. But there are no adults for me. <laughs> so this is kids twenty twenty two. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the kids? Was yeah. That yeah. That's what it's about. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I hear great things about it, but I don't do that. Uh, thirteen, thirteen, not Thir- not strange. Thirteen, 13, reasons, 13 why. reasons. Another one for kids, right? Yeah. Yeah. About death and suicide. They told me Stranger that, Things I, was for kids. I don't and think I that was, one was for kids. I don't, I don't think that was for kids either. I think that was more so for parents to help you recognize. I think it was both. Kids. I think it was for both. I, I think, think was that wasn't for kids. It's to let you know this is going on to a lot of people that might not know. True. And why? These yeah, are the typical and things why. that are going on. That's what I think about that. this. All right, so let me not say targeted to kids because that's subjective. If there are all kids in a show and the show is based on things that all these kids are going through, it ain't really for me. You love Yellow Jackets, though. So. Yellow Jackets has man adults in it. 
and it has the kids as adults. And it has the kids as adults. That's true. That's true. Okay. There's a I'm not mad at a flashback. There's mad adults in yellow jackets. I don't think I watch a show catered to kids, but I don't know. I was watching uh, Stranger Things until they tried to fuck the little alien girl in the room. Stranger Things just wasn't it for me. Was it it when they tried to fuck the little alien girl in the room without telling their parents? They tried to and fuck then they, the alien girl. I don't remember that part. Yeah, I, bet I you ain't, don't. probably didn't get that No, they tried to fuck in season two, too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just turn the show on. You know, I've seen it when they hid, hid the girl in the guy's house and he was attracted to her. And then she started talking to her. Oh, I love you, too. You don't remember that? I remember that. But I and the rest of the lie. season, they were hiding this girl in the attic from that. the parents and holding hands, running through the grass. What are you talking about? Come on, let's move on. Yeah. Round of applause. <laughs> Round of applause. I didn't think it would happen. But it happened. I thought that Giants Brass would watch Joe Judge do that bullshit on third and nine and keep him. But they didn't. Joe Judge has been fired as Giants coach, Giants coach after two seasons. His record was 10 and 23 over those seasons. Look here. Round of, <laughs> Round of a motherfucking applause. Y'all bumped off Jason Garrett too, right? Yep. Got him out of here during the season. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Saquon. <laughs> Stop, man. It's coming for him too. It's coming one day. Yo, it's coming. It's coming. Chill out, man. Danny Dimes. That it's coming. That one's coming. Saquon's no, that's coming. Here, Saquon's not going nowhere. Nate man. Solder. He swears it's coming. Is a bus, man. Andrew Thomas, your days are numbered. The Giants are fucking horrendous, man. It's horrible. Yeah. Yo, 39. I, I, I just, I've been asking like people that. trying to make some sense of that. You can't make sense of it. My man said they Good were trying to get better, better uh, field position in four <laughs> punt. <laughs> he was like, yo, stupid, you don't get it. We was just trying to get better positioning for the punt. To get a pun of some room. I mean, if I have to think of why they did it, they was trying to give us good TV at home. <laughs> just be exciting. Yeah. Take it. Take it. Yeah, yo, get in victory go, formation go, <laughs> and sneak it. Go do some wild <laughs> shit, yo. Let's go do some wild right yo, now. What the fuck is up with the Giants, man? All I right. don't know, but uh, I got something we can argue about. I'm ready to pod. Oh, that means argue. Uh, I get real. I get real angsty when it's like smoke around. When it's like an uh, argument brewing <laughs> or when potential tension voices can rise. Like, I like that shit. I do. Okay. And I think we found something here that we can argue about. Let's argue. We're going to argue about Antonio Brown. Okay. By now, everyone knows what's been going on with AB. Mm-hmm. You saw the footage, took the jersey off, ran off. Heard both sides, all sides. Heard, heard from the Bucks. heard from Bruce Arians, heard from AB. Briefly heard from Tom Brady. When we were rapping the last part, it said AB put something out. He said he might have been shitting on Tom Brady. And we all were like, well, no way. No way that happened. Turns out it happened. Mm -hmm. Uh, He went on a podcast, said some things. He's been pictured with every rapper. Kanye, Fab, Fabio, Mano, you name it. You've been outside. Mm -hmm. I do like that about sports. I do like that when the sports world or somebody seems to reject people. I love that hip hop just opens its arms and hugs you. Yo, come out, man. Shit ain't too bad, right? But moving on from that, the question is, is Antonio Brown right? Antonio Brown says, Tom Brady ain't my friend. It's not my man. He gained something, I gained something. He couldn't gain it without me. I helped him, I was there. I'm still me. Mm -hmm. But if he was my friend, I would be paid differently than I am. Mm -hmm. He mentioned Gronkowski, who we know to be Tom Brady's friend, Mm -hmm. and the contract that he has versus the contract that AB has. Mm -hmm. And I really hate this about me, man, but I, I really understand the people that people call crazy. I understand him too, actually, with this. I, I understand him a little bit. Why is he nuts? Let's argue right now. We don't know their friendship. Let's argue uh, right this second. Forget that part. Uh-huh. You bringing up the contract. First off, you can't say Tom Brady couldn't do it without you because he did it without you. A bunch of times without you. So no, you can't he didn't. Say, yes, he did. No, he didn't. He did. But no, he didn't. Get out of your mind. 
No, he didn't. Okay. He didn't move to a new city, play in a new place, new fans, new culture, teach a coach how to handle him. This was new everything outside of Gronkowski. Yes, LeBron won rings before, but I think the COVID ring is different. We got to go play in a bubble. Players are depressed. Paul George ain't Paul George. It's just different variables is all I'm saying. Of course we've seen Tom Brady win. We're not we not going to waste nobody's time. Tom Brady, okay. we know who Tom Brady is. All right. Yeah. So Tom Brady move. is the GOAT. So let, I'm only trying to approach this from Antonio Brown's perspective. Okay, let's move off of which that. Which is you bring up you did not win in Tampa. You had a coach that was very clear that no, we're not bringing me in. Hmm. And then somehow I was brought in because Tom said bring you in. Yes. So which all, but that didn't say that Tom Brady's relationship with Antonio Brown was so amazing. It, it said, well, well, it said, well, it said, wait, 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 you should be skipping. Go ahead. We skipped a few. Tom times. also brought him into New England. He did. And said, yo, bring him up here. Mm. I know he's toxic and don't nobody want to touch him. I don't care about all that. He's talent. So bring him here. I'll look out for him. I'm responsible. Bring him up here. I'm going to help him. I'm going to make sure he's right. It's key. That's key. I did this. Why? I just, why is it key? Dog. I'm about to tell you why. Tell me. I'm going to let Ice and I, go. And I'm here to learn. Go ahead, Ish. I'm going to let Ice go first. No, 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 go ahead, I'm, I'm, I just don't necessarily know that that speaks to friendship without knowing yeah. their friendship. I'm, I said, I'm it's off a good the look. friend part. I'm Charles off the both friend people part. Win. Well, that's the question I was person, attacking when I said, is he wrong? A person to take a risk on you when you are literally toxic. Mm-hmm. Nobody will touch you, dog. You just went through what you went through with, with Pittsburgh. Cool. Uh-huh. You go out to Oakland. You go through the, the shit out there. Uh-huh. The rest of the league is looking at it as, yes, you're talented, but I can't fuck with him. Although the Oakland shit looks a little different in the light with, with, with uh, John Gruden and shit. So, I, you know, I don't know. I, I, the other I, that wasn't known back then. At the time know, not to when us. that right. happened, at the time, the rest of the league uh-huh. I'm not is saying no way. We're not even, this guy is a problem. Uh-huh. We always hear cancer that. in the locker room. We I hear all that. of that shit. I get that. So for Tom Brady to vouch because that's where that's where the signing came from. No other player on that team. Gronk couldn't say, yo, bring Tom Brady in. Can no other player or no other team say bring Tom Brady in? It let's, comes from listen, Gronk. I mean, it we, comes from... Um, I don't, I don't want to waste the people's time. All right, here. I'm saying I'm stumbling uh, on this. Listen, listen to this. You, you're correct. I'm, I want to be clear on what I'm arguing. You are correct. They don't... Tom Brady and Antonio Brown don't have to be friends. Right. For Tom Brady to identify talent and want that talent on his team and put his name and likeness on the line for it to happen. Correct. I'm not arguing that. Correct. You're right. My response to everything you're saying and everything I'm seeing is I understand his rationale, but his reactions to me seem like he has CTE. No, that wasn't what you I, said. I'm, you, we, yeah, we, yeah. I'm not ever leaving. But that's not what you. I'm you not just ever leaving, leaving that point. Like that we are arguing. The, I don't. I don't. I don't mention Antonio Brown without that being my my very next thought. You started off so, this conversation with something different. Yes, well, we all, did. But we all. But we all adult men. So do we agree with the way that he has handled it publicly? No. I'm my, asking, my, is he wrong hold on, when hold, he opens his mouth okay, hold, hold on, and hold on, explains hold on, hold on, hold on, his hold on, thinking? Hold on, hold on. That's what I'm asking you, gentlemen. When you, you brought up the friend thing, you brought up the Gronk contract, which was the two things Antonio Brown said, yo, just because he brought me here, he don't mean he's my friend, he gained two. And look what he did for his friend. Look at that contract. Uh, that, that's, yeah, I don't like that, that part because, because I'm so wait, don't negotiate their contracts. Right, but, but you that's have disgusting. to remember, Gronk did not come with all this baggage and bad press that you come with. You are on a prove yourself deal because of you, nigga. And Nobody way, else. That's why you're on a prove yourself deal. My, res- my response way. to that is Gronk is 70 years old and and it could be looked at as the same. It was a lot of teams that wasn't touching Gronk or could pull him out of retirement That's wrong. because of age and injury. That's wrong. We didn't That's see wrong, it. bro. That's wrong. You're saying it's wrong, but we didn't see it. No, we didn't see it because he didn't want to play for nobody else. Right. Other Stop. Is Margo? Other teams would have taken him. Quickly. He didn't want to play for nobody else. He retired. My man calls me and says, yo, fam, come up here. I need you. I'm coming. Antonio Brown is also a year older than Gronkowski, by the way. I was about to say that, too. They're about the same age. Wow. But yeah. bigger than that. Wow. Bigger than that. I didn't know that. If if you can't say, Antonio yo. Antonio Brown's that dude, yo. 
You can't. He's the man. He is. Wait, he's older than Gronkowski. And, and, and then out, out there getting separation on the best chain. defender. Yes, on the he is. He's a monster. Come on, dog, man. This guy's great. He's what? just a little off in how he executes. So, but his brain still seem right there. So, I understand the logic in what he's saying. What he I understand, and I don't think that Tom Brady is his friend. Let me let me address what I. One, I think Antonio Brown initially is 100% accurate. Uh-huh. He showed proof. Yo, I sent the coaching staff. My ankle was fucked up. They still had me play. I got out there. I played. I gave it my best shot. I told them, yo, I can't pick up speed on my ankle. My ankle's fucked up. Mm-hmm. At that point, if they have your best interest at heart, you should have been allowed to exit the, the game. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh-huh. So now... He's right in all, in that aspect. Does As he have a, an agent? He has to. As a professional, yeah, he, he don't, don't have, have to. to. He don't have to. He don't actually have no. To. He no because they. You don't. I have think to. he was with Drew Rosenhaus and he dropped him. I'm not when all this shit happened that, before. That that's that, t- that tells mistaken. me a little bit. That tells you a lot about negotiating your deal. Negotiating Warren. your deal, also dealing with the team. Like you wouldn't be handling and some of this. Let me shit, let me just true. let me just jump in and say, he said the response was, "We're not resting." So, and all from the team, is. it could be like, dog, you saying this because you you know this is the time when niggas arrest. Like, we, we go into the last game. I'm not riding with that. I'm just saying, this is what happens. I'm not they were not still for him. For, uh, they were still position, playing for too. playoff positioning. Not just that. He's still playing for personal incentives. That too. So, it True. doesn't behoove him to say, yo, my ankle was fucked up. I don't want to play. When I need these few, the, the stats that he needed was yeah. light work for him. Yeah. And you get another million dollars. Mm-hmm. So and Tom would have got it for him like he just got mm-hmm. it for Gronk. In a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. So, what I'm saying is this. He's right in that respect. He's a child in how he handled everything after that. The nigga th- took his shoulder pads off and threw them under. You, you don't, if you don't ever want to play for the Bucks again, see, you don't, don't make that public see, spectacle. And, that, and that's where we differ. I handle him like I assume he has CTE. So, yes, that is not can't the normal pick and cho- response. You can't pick and choose when to do that. You can't Excuse- pick and choose when to do that. No, I don't. Oh. I do it with him Period. at all times. Gotcha. All right. I, I'm, the I reactions and the responses. Seem a little off. I could be with yeah. that. However, I expect that. But let me listen to your brain. So let me listen to why you think some of this is okay. And when I get into it, I could see how it makes some sense to him. Because I would say, this is me looking. Him and Tom Brady don't have to be friends for some things to be owed to Tom Brady. He put his name on the line. That's corny to me. And that, and that's where you lose me because that's not CTE based. That's not CTE based. That's loyalty based. That's morality based. That's you, my nigga. You looked out for me twice based. And and CTE don't have nothing to do with how you sitting up here talking about a nigga on a podcast. And this is, and this, go ahead. From the public eye, because it might be shit behind the scenes we don't know. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about the information that we have. Mm -hmm. The information that we have is Tom Brady got you two jobs when niggas wasn't fucking with you. And we talking about the NFL, which is a good old boys club. And when one nigga call another nigga and say cancel him, you're it's canceled. Over. These rich white motherfuckers don't give a fuck about your black ass. Yo, when they cancel you, nigga, they yo. cancel you. Look at T.O. Look at Chad Johnson. So, yo, 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 I do this, yo. You do? I so, do this, yo. So back to what I was saying. Fam, if Tom Brady, if, because mm. again, we might not know. But based on what we think we know, if Tom Brady got you a job in New England, mm-hmm. Tom Brady just got you a $3 million job at the Bucks when you was at home on your couch, you owe him more grace in public, and he gave you grace in public. That he part, might feel like A.B. is on some bullshit. That part is Tom Brady came up there in public and showed you grace. Nigga, show him the same fucking grace. I, I don't care about your contract with I'm Drunk Guy. I'm not dealing with his reaction because of what I've already stated about A.B. I'm only dealing with his thought. I challenge you with this, because I agree with everything you just said. All of that's fact, but you left out one thing. What? The nigga I got beef with, in this particular instance, is above Tom Brady. Cool. We men, dog. Stop. We men. Mm-hmm. I, I came here knowing that the person calling the shots has beef, but my man has some power, too. But when it comes push come to shove. No, you're wrong, though. You, you, setting up, you, you starting Let me off. hear it. You starting a foundation off. I, I don't know for exact fact. You might be right. 
I don't know that Bruce Arians had beef with AB prior to him coming in. Okay, then we working with two. You said he just based, said he didn't want you, him there. Wait, stop. You said based off what we know. That's not all he said. He said under no circumstance will we have that. We trying to build a winning culture. That ain't that. He went on a long run. Oh, that's public. So dope. So mm. if if the nigga with the power. That's more the if, reason that if the dude that's even more the reason that's look, more the, the reason the, 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 the you stop show. acting like a fucking dodo, man. Oh, you crazy! You out your cotton picking fucking mind, Joe. We you ain't tap dancing for, around something because around you work for are yourself. You they me? don't. You don't work for yourself. Ish, when we you are work men. for somebody else, you play accordingly. Ish, we are men. You right? We are men. Mm-hmm. And no man is gonna look at you on the sideline. Do a little cut my throat. You're done around here. Mm-hmm. It's nothing. My man, it's nothing. Tom Brady could do in that instance. This is now between me and the higher up. So why? You, so have, why you shit on, on Tom Brady? Tom Brady. Uh, why do you shit on Tom Brady? I don't agree with that. With that public, with that public thing that he did to Tom Brady. Oh, okay. But that I'm talking about his thought, not his action. I don't agree with any of the action, but I handle him delicately because of CTE. I'm talking about the thought. And the thought is, yo, there is no Tom Brady when Bruce Arians, the nigga I've been had beef with, is looking in my face saying, you're done here, cutting his throat, doing this gesture. Wait. So now it's between me and him. Cool. It ain't about, yeah, I ride for you, but I ride for me first. True. No, this man can't do this. Mm -hmm. It's up. Take this this team off my back. I'm tossing it. That's where it get crazy. But the thought... I'm with the thought. I'm not disagreeing. My man, hey, my man or not, another nigga is not coming to disrespect me. True. I don't care if it's your man. True. Keep going. That's the end. That's not the end. Because with with all that you said, I'm mm. in agreement with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. I'm going to walk to the locker room, take my shit off. Well, that's if you think it with normal brain. See, and that's why I don't want to But like he can think part. with normal brain on some nigga's couch. You can think with normal brain when it benefits you to articulate your story and how the deltoid, da, 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 da. You got normal brain then. But I you don't have normal brain to get this nigga some grace that helped you out twice? I haven't seen him have normal brain since that hit, since the Bengals hit. He sat on them niggas' couch right there and articulated and conveyed his thoughts very, very, very well. That had nothing to do with action. <laughs> no, so you should have had this been in the same train of thought than the shit on Tom Brady. But this is an action. But you still what? sat and talked about. I'm talking. Like, I'm only talking about the thought. The action is wrong, but the thought is, and he said it plain as day, which he shouldn't have said. That's why I'm not arguing with y'all. But the thought is, why do y'all feel I have to be so loyal to Tom Brady? I don't. I know y'all feel like that's my man's man's. I'm telling you, he is not. I know y'all feel like he did me a solid. I am telling you. That wasn't a solid. He How said is that it. not a solid? Hey, yo, yo, that's all I want to know. How crazy. is that not a solid? I, I really would like to know how Tom Brady did not do him a solid. Because he benefited from the solid too? That's not a solid. And if I have to sit here and explain how mutual gain is not necessarily a solid, what are you? I don't understand what you're saying. That's what he's saying. He's saying, I caught the ball. You threw it. I caught it. <laughs> Nigga, I got you a job when you stop, were see, when stop, nobody right, no, stop, else stop, in stop, the stop, NFL would allow you to stop, catch stop, the ball. Stop, stop, I stop did it. you a fucking stop solid. It. You couldn't catch the ball Crazy. nowhere else. You saying that to a nigga that left the league? He didn't leave. No, the he league. got kicked out the, the fuck out the league. He didn't leave. He didn't leave. He wanted to still be in the NBA. He, I mean, NFL. He just said on this podcast, "I want to play football. It's my passion. I still want to play." He didn't leave the league voluntarily. They kicked him the fuck out and told him, "Don't come back." I don't care how he left. No, it, that matters. That That's matters, very, though. very vital. It matters in y'all tap dance story. Who's to me, tapping? To me, with somebody who's using their brain. Yes, I know that if I do X, Y, Z, I could potentially get kicked out the league. He did those things and did whatever came, took whatever no, no, they no, threw no, at no, him. No, 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 He went home, did that bum-ass interview. We saw a mad footage of him disrespecting, and we won't get in his family domestic shit, but we've seen that. We have not seen a good decision from him since he left. Joe, but I can't let you it. do that. I can't Wait, let you do but that. But he took it. I he can't let you what, do he that. He took what the Steelers did. He took what Bruce Arians did. He took it. I, 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 I do also think that he will probably get another job. I don't, and he's going to get another job. The NFL has he let going way to get more another people job. back in the league. He's than getting this. another job, yo. I don't. He's getting another job. I Okay. I would like 50, to see it. I Bet think it. it's 50 50. Bet it. Bet me. I think it's 50 50. I'm saying 100% he's getting another job. 100%. Next season, he's playing. 
Next season, not at one day. Next season, he's playing somewhere. I don't see it. If the Seahawks made it, shit, they lucky. <laughs> Are the Seahawks in? No, they're not. No. They, they They've been look. eyeing him for a year. They, they can't wait. Hey. They can't wait. Are you kidding me? The uh, desert could use him right now. Arizona. I don't agree with the action. I don't agree with none of the action. But when he speaks. Sam, you up there shitting on a golden boy. I don't you, even you, care you about think, Tom Brady. Listen. Yo, dog. why do you think everybody got to care about a golden boy? Everybody I'm, don't. I'm don't. telling you this is the Everybody little, don't have right. to care that Tom. Who the okay. fuck are you? Some okay. people could walk the earth like that. Mm -hmm. It's not a crime. I know. But it, it, it should come with it, though. Nigga, he went, five, he went Fabio. He knows shit come with it. He's out of football world. And, that, and, <laughs> and he knows he's out of football world. I never not, even heard of these podcasters, but he's there. That's not what he's saying in his interview, though. He's saying, I'm a football player He said, first. I want that's to I, play football. And I think he will. And he's going to play. I'm not... You, you, what I'm saying is you are contradicting yourself by Ow. saying he voluntarily left the sport of football. No, no, that's not... That's not what he did. Ish, you're putting words in my mouth. I take it back. He's not voluntarily... He didn't voluntarily do anything. Cool. He did his time. He took what came with his crime. And, the nigga and I that think there's something get, to be with the that. The motherfucker that helped that. And, and poly for you to get out of jail after doing your time, you just sat on a public forum and shitted on. He did his time. He did his crime. The nigga that sat before the parole board and the warden with you and, and said, y'all, I need to get him a job. I need him out here. You just shitted on him. I don't need to not be myself because you think I'm supposed no, to have you need some to type be a, of allegiance Joe, to some you're changing mythical the, God. You're changing the... the, the I'm name. not. You just won't follow what I'm saying. No, no I hear you. What I'm saying is you, you don't have you're to... You're saying he, he didn't have to do this. No, let me say what I'm saying. Go ahead. He don't have to change who he is as a man. Mm -hmm. You have to be an adult, show some diplomacy, and show some tact. Remember tact? And koof. <laughs> and yo, Tom is you're my man. I don't have to say nothing. Tact is a myth. Enough. I don't have to have it. I don't have to give two fucks about how somebody else feels. You do. I'm mad that I learned that that's what that word means. Let me tell you when you do. I thought tact meant, hey, do. I, I have put a lot of thought into how I'm going to move about this. Look, you're not. You, you I do. put a lot of thought into how somebody else would feel about it. Suck my dick. No, you can say that because you're self employed. That's why you can He's say that. He's trying to get a job. That's why you can say that. And that's, and that's, why that's like very big here. Can, wait, stop. He can say it because I am a world-class athlete. No, he can't. That yes, don't can. fucking matter. There's world-class athletes that can't get a job. They not him. There ain't no ABs. They not him. Nigga, T.O. and not Jack. Him. I bring both of them they names up him. in this tip-top They not him. Don't disrespect Terrell They not him. Stop that shit, man. Don't disrespect They will put his ass on the list with them. Owens played until he was how old? About ABH. Not a little older than that. Older than that. I don't that. know. How Stop. old is AB? Come on, man. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Now y'all telling me that a world-class athlete can't have an arrogance about him. It's not what we're saying. That's not what we're saying. That's not what we're saying. Every fucking athlete in the world is arrogant, it's, especially when Everything you're saying says that he is supposed to act in some diplomatic way toward Tom Brady no, and that his behavior should have been saying, differently not because Tom I'm, Brady put, did him a solid. You're putting words... Yes. That second part, yes, I'm saying. I don't say he's supposed to just bow down and no fucking Tom Brady. Fuck Tom Brady. What I'm saying is, and this is where we're having a problem, if I helped you out and I did you two solids, don't get on a public... You can feel how you want to feel. They asked Tom Brady a week before AB got on this fucking podcast how he feels about AB. That nigga said nothing but miraculous things about fucking Antonio Brown. No, he didn't. What'd he say? He didn't say miraculous things. No, he did Under not. Under the circumstances? No, he did not. What What'd he, he say? said, which was telling, and I highlighted it for a reason, was, hey, damn, why is Tom Brady saying, even in this moment, let's handle him with grace, care, and be empathetic toward what he's going through? Stop. Stop. Because I got your bum no, ass I'm on. Just, you you just, won't let you me just talk. You just tapped out. Go ahead. T I tapped out. Besides that, T.O. played for 16 years, played till he was 37 years old. Keep going. Yeah. Ish, do you think that in that moment, Tom Brady didn't have uh, information that we didn't have about Antonio Brown, his current state, his mental health, his behavior behind the scenes? Do you think that Tom Brady was void of those things when he said that? Absolutely not. I do think that he has more, way more information than you and I. Keep going. And I want you to give me the same courtesy because I'm letting you rock. Go ahead. Then I don't really understand what you argue. Cool. Cool. You I don't understand. I'm about to let you know. Tell me what you're arguing cause because I'm lost. Because Tom Brady had all of that information, good and bad, mm -hmm. he could have said way more. He said, I That's suggest. That's Tom Brady. That's Tom Brady. 
When has anybody accused him of having CTE or handling things the incorrect way? Dog. So my only thing. Hey, wait, is- wait, wait. Not only that, quarterbacks, even the bummest of quarterbacks, go to quarterback school and learn to talk like a quarterback. No, that's not true. Aaron Rodgers don't talk like a quarterback. That nigga says yes, whatever. He the does. F- that nigga say a mad shit. He not supposed to. No, say. No, he say things like he got his dick on the Packers table and it's the biggest dick there. He talked like that, but and, he talks like a quarterback still. And Brady has the room to say, "Nigga, I got my dick on the NFL table and I can say whatever the fuck I want to say," and, and he don't. And in that moment, if he's not saying that about A, B, I assume him to, I assume him to kind of think what I think. Or even that's that, what I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I it's fifty fifty. Let me finish. He or, might, or he's covering yo, up. His, let me finish because he might no, because, agree. No, because Tom he Brady, might agree with no, you. No, because Tom Brady's so good that that bum ass response that you thought was so miraculous, I didn't think it, it was. You said he spoke. He's spoken. You're not letting me expound. No, because I want to finish what I'm saying Nigga, first. Go ahead. That response was so great from Tom Brady. It could be, yes, I'm just trying to fucking protect my investment and, and make sure that Bruce Arians and him could be uh, get along so I could bring him back. It said that. Mm-hmm. It said, hey, this guy could have CTE. Mm-hmm. It said, hey, I could be fucking him, but let's be nice and some guys are, uh, play the game publicly, but you're fucking him in the background. You can't get nothing from Tom Brady. That response covers everything. How you think it leads exactly. to one thing is, is, is befuddling to me. No, I'm going to give you all of your scenarios. Every single scenario you said could have been 33% this, 33% this, 33% mm-hmm. this. We have no way of knowing what's going on behind closed doors. But we're looking at something. We have no way of knowing closed what's door, going yes. on behind closed mm-hmm. doors. Yes. He had enough professionalism, grace, diplomacy to say, you know what? We need to handle this man with care. Okay, so we finished with this. We got to be finished with this. Wait, whoa. Because we finished. Keep, it's not we, my goal. We, it's yeah, still keep, my goal. We keep getting to the same place. So why do we now Tom Brady say, ain't never had a hit like that Bengals hit. My only problem with everything you said, Joe, is you said he did this knowing what come with it and took his time with it. One of the things of CTE is irrationalism. Mm-hmm. He's not thinking about none of that. He's acting on impulse. So I don't think he thought none of this shit out. He's mm-hmm. just doing I'm no shit. doctor. I'm no expert. I cannot say the areas in which CTE affects or doesn't affect. I know that since that hit, I'm looking at behavior that is irrational. I'm not hearing thought that's irrational. So how can you speak for this man's thoughts? Is what I'm saying, Joe. How are you I'm, letting this thought? No, you, you contradict. Yeah, it. man. That's I why. Right, I, that's it. why I tapped out. Forget it. Yeah, we can move on. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Yo, want to talk about it. NFL at all, or save that for later? Still is in the playoffs. Ain't nothing to talk about. Still is in the playoffs here. The fuck? Still is we snuck our ass in there. No, we didn't make it. And we fired our head coach. Yeah. I think it was a good move. Get Carson Wentz the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> yes, yo. yo, throw him yo, in the, whatever garbage day is. It's put him in the garbage. Yo. Roll that shit to the front of the house. That was embarrassing. And watch the garbage man dump Damn. his ass in there and get him out of there. And let's get Nick Foles taping it to his Insta store. <laughs> Just to make it sweet. Damn. That was embarrassing. Get him did, out of here, what yo. What did they get for him? What did What did uh, Indy give up for Carson Wentz? I don't a remember. first round no, pick. I think it was a first, a first right? round pick. It was a first. A was first it? round pick. Damn. <laughs> Robbery. <laughs> a fleecing. I they mean, need to go to jail for that. <laughs> a fleecing. They was so, he was so bad, he made Dan Orlowski get on TV and, <laughs> and denounce him. And he don't shit on nobody. <laughs> he don't shit on Carson Wentz. That's Not his man. Old. Not quarterbacks. That they, is his man. Yo, Carson they Wentz. Gave up a first and Carson a third. Wentz. And this is why I'm angry at it. This is why I'm angry at it. I'm a Giants fan. I have no horse in any of this. Mm. But I want to see good football. True. Yeah. And for y'all to keep the best running back yeah. by far out of the playoffs, the Colts been that's the disrespectful. They should have been. Yeah, they should That's they disrespectful. They should. I never would have thought that's, that they would have made that's the That's my one A. Me, my one like. B, and maybe this is personal bias, maybe not. The playoffs should not happen without Justin Herbert being there. That is a That is a disgrace. He's Somebody good. should have to deal with him. He's, he's, he's that good. They got yeah, the team. And he got a did what he had to do. He did what you he mean, had like to do. the coach not calling the timeout? That's, <laughs> yo, the, that's I the way to go. Believe that shit. That's yo. the way to go. Yeah. Or uh, go for it on fourth and, and one on the fortieth or whatever that was. I a team should this. have to deal with Jonathan Taylor and Justin Herbert in the playoffs. I agree. I'm really disappointed about but that, but I'm on my business. They will have to deal with them for years. They to gave come. me Justin Burroughs. They gave me Justin Bureau. Joe, I mean, Joe, Joe Bureau. Bureau. Joe Bureau. So he, I'm happy. They're supposed to be there. No question. Ben is there. 
The Steelers are not really supposed to be there, but hey, man, congratulations. At all. Say what you at want. All, man. Say what the fuck you want to be there. At all. I actually, I mean, say whatever. It's a, it's a they'll, little story, but fucking soon. quarterback ending. I fucking get it. They'll be home soon. Duh. Say what you want. This, this is my. T- it ain't made on the, one the, game. The Dwayne Haskins show is coming soon. Don't worry. <laughs> nah, don't you worry. The Sean Watson show coming soon. Ooh. Ooh. That's what's coming. <laughs> I don't think, think so. I don't think so either. Boy, bye. <laughs> Listen, let me dream, okay? Yo, that's what let me doing. let me dream. No, no we're gonna wake you up. How many motherfucking uh, private masseuses are in Pittsburgh? <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know how many they're gonna turn their head about and let them play? Pittsburgh. I'll sign the NDA and massage that nigga. <laughs> 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 he can talk to me. What's up, nigga? <laughs> Pump the sky. <laughs> Put the sheet up. I don't care. <laughs> Pull it down. Pull it up. Man. It's a dick. <laughs> Yo, this guy's a fucking cool. Oh, Yo, man. <laughs> Yo. Come on, what else we got about football, man? Oh, man. You want to make picks early? We play the Niners. They're going to give you a hard time, too. I uh, know. The Rams play who? Cardinals. I Cardinals. Believe. Yeah, Cardinals. And the Buccaneers play the Eagles. Bye bye, Cardinals. The Eagles could It was a nice up. run. No. Oh. Now what? Nah, now the Cardinals. Now they, what? They got too many injuries. Now what? Yeah. A fully healthy yeah, yeah. Cardinals. A fully healthy Cardinals. Bye bye, Cardinals. The, the Rams haven't been it looking all It was such that a nice season. Game. They have not. Bye bye, Cardinals. Rams all the way. I no fucked way. up letting the 49ers Sorry. sneak in there, though. Sorry, Kyler Murray. I've tasted like D Hop. What a little cutesy name you got. I can't never think you the <laughs> real wrong? deal because your name is cute, nigga. I think he blows. Little he, Kyler. He is the real Little deal. Kyler Murray. Say what you want. Look at that Kyle's, little Kyle's Say what you want. that little cutie uh-huh. pie running around. He's nice. He the real deal. I know. He's he got, got some years. Get your, get your jokes off. He's got he's some years deal. for me. Yeah, you get my respect. He get that busy. nigga was at the Giants right now. You be having pom poms. What? I what know, they, but I would also know that we're not ready yet. They got a squad. You don't got they got, got a lot of bye. injuries. Fully healthy bye, squad bye. dangerous. Bye bye, little cutesy Kyler Murray, little tiny self running around. Did you beat your game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he threw that. He whipped that ball over. They could win that game. Yo, bet, bet it. Bet it. They could. Bet it. Bet it. Yo, I'm not with you niggas that talk and won't put money behind your words. And this is why I'm going to put FanDuel on my phone. I think I'm going to hide some of this stuff, man. I think I'm all right. I'm going to try these guys. Chip. Parlay is going to crack your little, ass, boy. The little bitsy spy. Kylie bitty. The little bitsy kitsy tiny Kylie Murray. I just, the Rams haven't looked that great last, they last half of the season. They Park's got the Packers going on, uh, going to the Super Bowl. I do have the Packers going on. He's got the AFC. Huh? Either the, I think the, I think the Chiefs. I do. I can see the Bills doing it too, though. Depending on what Bills we get. After you shit it on Josh Allen, hey they turned it around. Yo, they turned it around. He bro. heard that shit. He did. He I, it hey, listen, around. I apologize, yeah. he, but he, he had to have heard that. He shit. turned he said, it around. This is your Jason Tatum shit all over again. He heard it. He yeah. said, "All right, y'all want to shit on me? I got I got a trick for you niggas." Who the Cowboys got again? Forty Niners. Niners got a good. Oh, little y'all squad. gonna have to play that game. Where's that game at? Dallas. 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 Niggas go. love Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> I think niggas get up to go to Dallas. Yeah, it's a beautiful, don't. beautiful place. And the Niners got a good little squad on the low. Yeah, that's why I said they fucked up letting them in. Yeah. Kanye tried to go live in the Dallas Arena a Stadium, I'm sure. They wouldn't let him. No, nah, they, get they wouldn't let him. I like the Cowboys. I like them winning that yeah. game, but <laughs> <'Cause> we <laughs> don't bring that shit down here. And if there was to be an upset, I, that would be one that I would, What's I would that? pick. The Eagles. No, Eagles are not upset. No, no, no. The, no, the no. Eagles are not upset in Tampa. Sorry. They're not. Okay. I don't think if you had to pick up, say, who you picking, Parks? For the uh, I'm, I'm picking Niners or I might in the Raiders. Who Raiders play who? Bengals. Bengals. <laughs> nah, you fucking. <laughs> okay. Raiders not winning that. Okay. Okay. Who you got for upset if you had to pick one? AFC upset? Each, each, um, Scroll each conference. down. Each the, conference. The Patriots could beat the Bills. No. Y'all niggas sitting there. T- it's in Bella. Buffalo? They don't care about Buffalo. It's cold as hell in Massachusetts. True. <laughs> Them niggas accustomed to playing in that weather. Right, Buffalo man. fans is rowdy though. It's Bill Eagles, Belichick. Bucks. Hey. I got the Bucks. Niners. Cowboys is the up, is the upset alert. Yeah, I, I, I'll pick the Niners if I have to pick an upset. The, I got Card- money. the Cardinals are going home. Uh, the Steelers are going home. The Patriots unfortunately are going home. If I had to pick a second underdog, that's my second underdog. The Patriots pick. are not that good. And the Raiders are going home. But if I had to pick one, that's my third underdog. That might do it. Raiders got a sneaky good team. I'm not. Par- I'm parlaying this whole weekend. All all six. I'm games. putting FanDuel on my phone. And I'm, I'm betting on too. some of this I'm shit. I am. Yeah. I'm getting in on this. I am. 
Uh, and, congratulations. Y'all go, gonna, I know team, whatever, whatever you want to call it, I'm riding with my team. I think Pittsburgh can shock them. Who y'all playing? I would Kansas shock City. them if they keep it within 10. <laughs> okay. That would be shock a shock. Em. That would be shocking to me. Like it's going, Casey. Some lightning going to come out of the sky. Hey, it could happen. It better. That's the only way Mahomes Hey, Juju Mishmister. What's, what's his name? I don't know. John Sherman is Juju not Mishmister. His name is John Sherman. <laughs> Go play around on that Chiefs logo. He's not there. He's TikToking somewhere. He's been on IR since week whatever. Oh, he ain't going to play? He ain't been playing. And it's, uh, it's been great this way. Keep still, it that way. Well, go roll your little wheelchair over the no, Chiefs no, logo. No, 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 stay home. Stay home, play Fortnite and all the other shit you play. Stay over there. It looks good. They defense can't stay stop over there. Though. Mahomes going to get Ben uh, Roethlisberger home so quick. So, like, so he, quick. Because he hate him. Like, so, so quick. He don't even want to play him. He <laughs> want to get to the next game. Yeah. <laughs> like, go home, nigga. I just watched your whole stadium celebrate that you were going home, which meant you should be home. And I'm gonna no, 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 <laughs> outright Outright yeah, I only, lowers I only it. do that money line I ain't fuck with them points Outright lowers it for me I put a buck on it I put a buck on it I will You wanna bet on your team? I don't bet I bet I bet FanDuel parlays That's No it. no you bet your ass <laughs> <laughs> you bet, I bet no, FanDuel parlays no, 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 You bet your ass you don't bet <laughs> No I bet FanDuel parlays You bet your fucking ass and you I'm don't bet And I'm betting on the Steelers on FanDuel I know I bet you I know fan, I FanDuel Let a fan see Bet on FanDuel <laughs> I'll, nigga, yeah. I'll, look, I'll hey, show y'all let, let a fan see that you made that look, bet Bet on, bet on FanDuel Nah, what the fuck you talking about nigga Nope Whip your fucking ass You ain't betting on Steelers Would you like to What's the line? I'm it betting don't the matter, money though. line. It better be 90. I bet Pat Mahomes stick his whole leg up Ben <laughs> Roethlisberger's ass and don't let up. Hey, I think Andy Reid going to try and take him out. He's going to say, nah, I got it. I got this. <laughs> if they get up 30, he's going to take him out. I got y'all losing by 20. Bet that. I love this. Bet that. I got y'all I losing by 20. I love this. You got it on 20? 20 points? Fam, y'all I get 20 points. This. I'm not betting you. All right, good. I think, See, I think, I think, Philly, that he know. I just don't he like know. the bet. I think Philly like going, and I think the like Cardinals going. I mean, the Bucks are banged up, but I don't, I don't, can't steal second base. Keep your foot on first. Right. Right. I, I'm and not I like playing the, baseball. They got a nice little foundation there. But. <laughs> Philly can win, and the Cardinals can win. I think the Cardinals win. could win. Okay, they Philly could. cannot win. Okay, Philly cannot win. We gonna see. Yo, where's Stephen A. Smith? He's been, he's been, he's been in my for a little while. Pittsburgh. He needs a break, man. He works hard. And I think uh, this is an interesting time been, to take a break, a, though. Been a, been a bunch of media attention. Yeah, I don't think he's chill. ever taken a break at this time before. Yeah, <laughs> just chill. Although I mean, I guess he could be prepared. It's to January. Be this for the like next, January twelfth, you know. He, he might he might be <laughs> he might be preparing <laughs> to talk for the next three weeks straight. Go. So see something. y'all next week on first take when I return. Every damn body's in trouble when I get back. See y'all very soon, especially you. Sorry, Dallas Cowboy fans. He that can that don't fool me. Mm. <laughs> that don't trick me. <laughs> My question remains. <laughs> He getting ready to talk for three weeks straight. That's all it is. My question is, where is he gone? And why is he missing? Where is he? Why is he not there? Molly ain't there. Molly's not there either? No. No. It's the WWE chick. Really? I like their little rotating stuff. shit, though. But... Me too. But, I mean, top of the year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You want to get in your 2022 yeah, yeah. bag. You want to put your best people out there. Co- they coach just... firings. I want no, to hear him yell, yeah. I want to hear him yell about the Dolphins yesterday. He didn't. It's Fact. the end of NFL season, and Stephen A. Smith is not it. Yeah. That's move, our, we can move on. That's our replacement? We can move on. Just... Ryan Clark don't play with the suits, dog. <laughs> he don't play with the suits. And somehow he's down with I Am Athlete and the spinoff. They caught that. Spinoff is doing great. Pivot. Pivot is the name of it. You saw it? I didn't see it yet. I didn't see it, but I saw the numbers that it did. Did did fucking great. Nice. And Ocho is still over there, and he's still on I Am Athlete. Not impossible. Yeah, Ocho's on both, right? I was going to say, Ocho's on both. I don't really want to give too much of a round of applause. I I was in the strip club. Live action going on when I got the text from Brandon Marshall. He said, yo, I need to talk to you right now. (laughs) 
He didn't say that. He said, I need to talk to you. So I stepped out of the strip club and we talked for a little bit. Mm. And he said, not important. He said, yo, this was going on and, and help me navigate. Mm. Nice. You went through it. Nice. And I stayed outside that strip club and did that. Salute to that. I like that. Definitely. Black man call another black man to get some advice and some guidance. I, I, yeah, I, I like I've that. Seen, I've seen you move dope. this. No, it's dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's very dope. Yo, it's, it's a lot of y'all out there that have not made mistakes because I made them. <laughs> mm. It's true. True. That's dope. It's true. I like that. I don't best like that do that's is, my role in this. Best thing to do is to learn from <laughs> somebody else's wow. music. Hey. Pig. I don't like that that's my role. Is. I want to feel better about my role in things. That's I don't a, want people to learn I mean, from only the bad things I've done. It's, uh, no, they're not only learning from, from the bad. You think they're not taking from the good, nigga? I hope, absolutely I hope so. Taking from there the you good. go. So, it's no, the, Hove did that. So hopefully you don't have to go through that. Mm. Mm. Yo, and podcasts that grow this big, right? Having the power to break up and launch another big pod. Like, these brothers are so lucky. It's dope. This is great. Look at how this shit is shot. Shit look good, like, look at what they're doing. That's dope. Like, yeah, they broke up, but you know you still need to hear athletes, like, really give it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's a space for it for mad of them. Yeah. Like, yeah. The round stories. Of, round of applause again, man. We, yo, we live through musicians, actors, and athletes. Mm-hmm. Right? And the fact that they could give their stories, the behind the scenes shit, is amazing. Like, when you even quit Q Rich and them, the stories that they used to give, because they was first, mm-hmm. used to be amazing. Yeah. And I'm, I get tired of the sanitized. Uh, we talked about this a little bit last time, but even watch how they handled the dolphin situation. It's like y'all gotta shut up. <laughs> they won you seven. Right. They won seven games straight, and everyone's like, "Ah, this team is trash. Fuck those seven games. Y'all lost to all. You won all, all against all t- terrible teams." And then Brian Flores gets fired, and they're like, "He won seven games straight. How do you fire him? Which one is it?" I'll take one of Giants and RB I, right I, now. I don't blame you. Right this second. I'll take him. The only thing with him is he couldn't find assistant coaches and keep them. And that's a problem when your offense is terrible. Um, I'm done with I'm done. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. So I keep bumping into Chris Rock. In real in life out. or on the internet? No, on like, we like the same chicks on the gram. <laughs> thinking, man, that's a big fish to spot with you when you get there now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, certain names still still give you that power to rethink. Nobody wants to talk. Twenty three. It's cool. You'd be like nah, huh? you got twenty fives. <laughs> you think they know who they? You think they know who Chris Rock really is at twenty five? Yes. yes. Hell, Hell yeah. Thirty maybe. <laughs> you hear the young boy, my <laughs> young boy, my. Yo, Chris Rock. Well, I'm mad. I'm mad that I said we're bumping into each other, and you went to hey, the 25 year old. She's there. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like, yo. <laughs> you always think somebody taking a shot. It, no, it's a shot. Even if you don't know, it's a shot. It's a <laughs> shot. Like, Damn, it's, you went right I don't there. Look at it. them no more. Hmm? All right, bro. <laughs> but wherever I land, Chris, Chris Rock. He's right. there. He been he there right first. Here. He was Christopher Columbus. <laughs> he been there. I think it's richer, funnier. <laughs> That's tough. It's, it's tough. Clearly uses the internet like I do. See, that was the advantage back in the day. It's like, oh, I'm here. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> Them my, niggas is my space. They can double exactly. tap like we can. That my space. That Chris Rock play is different. It's like, yo, what you doing tomorrow? Oh, not that why. <laughs> Want to go get some breakfast? <laughs> yeah. We'll just fly you from Teterboro to France for some croissants. Breakfast where? <laughs> <laughs> a little well, spot. It's a little spot, man. But we got to do it close to the Oscars because... <laughs> oh, I'm what, um, rehearsing rehearsing is at 11 I figure we could eat it around 10 like this is not fair <laughs> that's tough that's a different that's a now different imagine level now, now back to what Ish was saying imagine the 22 year old regular nigga who has to deal with that with the girl that he in yeah. school with now, I ain't gotta imagine my son right there at his dad's podcast he ain't got no <laughs> <laughs> Well, I gotta imagine my poor, my poor baby sitting I'm right taking him. <laughs> and oh yeah, you up in a cup already. You right? Yo, but you don't hear this, this this fucking hammer. <laughs> Yo, you know what my beef is with Ish, and I tell you, I'm gonna start firing her back. Beef. I don't I'm want start it. Fire. Joke. This is my beef. It's with a you. joke. No, man. I don't care. <laughs> I don't you care. care about the jokes. I know I don't care. This is my beef with oh, you. Man. You have been at this part long enough. I'll just spill it's the beans. It's a beef. joke. Yo. But let me. But in the joke, let me add context. Bro, man. Every girl we know listens to this part. 
Do that. <laughs> 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 Yo, it's good. Yo, it's good man. You, you think? I'm done with him, and that's why I hate talking to Ish. Yo, you think? I don't. I don't think that. Ish. I don't think that. Ish. If she likes oh, you, she's listening to this ish. podcast. No, he's saying every girl that we know collectively listens to the. Yeah, what do you mean? You, you gotta know? break it down. <laughs> No worries. No worries. Hey, you my man, yo. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to always protect you, yo. I'm telling you, yo. Chris Paul ain't going to under- throw it where, where he don't think it could be a basket, Turn yo. Turnover ratio is very Yeah, good. yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> you, you got an eight to one? Ish. Uh, and it be you. They listen because they like you. Well, mm-hmm. the people that, that listen for me are listening because of you. And it's because at any instant, you'll throw out something that resists something else without even knowing it. Yo, you just do that. And I'm such a real nigga. I don't do that to you on Uh-oh. air, yo. I don't do that Who, to you on ice, air. Don't sit here. And do I'm one of the realest niggas you know, yo. Who? We gotta start putting some respect on my uh, name, right? You, uh, that nigga, he started. <laughs> he look, look at ice. Nah, he don't He's keep, laughing. Nah, he don't keep it pee. Oh man. Hey Joe. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, ice. <laughs> Hey, yo. thank you. Thank you, my African brother. Yo, thank you, my African brother. Yo, thank you, my African brother. He came yo, out the back. Don't do that. Do what? Look, young boys fuck with me. I'm, I'm telling you, just don't do that. <laughs> just don't do that. Yo, do what? You lie. <laughs> <laughs> yo, my niggas back in VV came to support me. They know. <laughs> Nigga go out the door. Video Village about to throw a spear up this bitch at your ass. Yo, throw a dollar in the cup since you throwing, though. <laughs> I did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. When I lie on you. When? Or you. Huh. They are lies. <laughs> yes, you better hide, nigga. <laughs> Get under the couch. Come on. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. Hurry up. Out. Hurry up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're going to take that, you now. That nigga's beating on the door for real. They're going to take you. When I lie, I give out lies that you upstanding uh, men with experience with women should be able to maneuver out of. And if you can't maneuver out of it, then I'm judging you a little bit. (laughs) I don't drop a lie that confirms or doesn't confirm or just make it hot in the house. I don't do that, yo. So I just made a joke about the 25-year-olds. You can't wiggle out of that? Of course you can. No. you don't fuck with 25-year-olds. My my entire reputation says different somehow. (laughs) That's not true. I'm telling you what the girls think, Ish. They think I'm they think I'm active with 25 years. They also think I've never dated a black woman. And in the history of your <laughs> life, you've never dated a black woman. Let them tell it. Ever. Yes. Or one. <laughs> Not like your last relationship wasn't with a black woman. I'm, I'm lost. No, well, they, 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 they say that doesn't ice, count. Ice girl is white. They tell me that doesn't <laughs> wait, count. What? Yeah. Ice oh, girl, oh, yo, your girl is white. I'm yeah. like, wait. Yeah, your girl's white. Yo, and, and I be wanting to show y'all the black women. <laughs> Yo, let me be clear. <laughs> I be wanting to be Tristan Thompson out here. Oh, no, Lamar Odom. And be like, yeah, man, me and Nia Long that day, or whatever he said. Oh, Taraji. Taraji. I be wanting to tell you, but that's corny, so I don't. I just let y'all drag you gotta, me you, through nah, the You got to let him get it off. You gotta whatever the off. internet say you are, you, you are. just are. Yeah. Yo, and no matter what you say to disprove, you th- can't disprove th- it. Yo. And it's the phone game. Because if you somebody read it enough on the internet, then they just carry it around. Yo, like it's crazy. Look who's protecting black women. That nigga don't give a fuck about no black women. If, they don't even date black if women. If I knew they thought that, I would have been went public with all my last black girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I would have got some. I would have you know, got some that. props. You going know, to get some of that? <laughs> I didn't went public so fast. Look, y'all, a sister. <laughs> like, what are y'all talking about? T.A. I didn't even T-A. know that they thought this stupid shit <laughs> out there, said, yo. Look, y'all, a, a sister. sister. He put the sister. <laughs> yo, you changed your Cause, whole Because you just never <laughs> know some of the dumb shit that they think they, about. They, you out there, yo. You just gotta not give a fuck. Anyways, that's really it. Yeah, you don't give a a fuck fuck. until it get to the people that you kind of want to talk to, and then you got to answer for it. That's true. Hey, I bet you that like my girl. (laughs) Like, excuse me, you read that way. I got to answer to some bossup shit on my text. I'm real big on protecting text energy, yo. I protect. I'm I'm super big on protecting text text energy. I just block you. I don't even block you. I just see that's why my red receipts are on. Nah, I block you. I want you to see that I read it and didn't respond to it. I'm blocking you. 
That's you can't just have a bad day or have your emotions out of whack or have that some shit, shit that you need to get off it's and then easy. shut down some shit because a girl is good for that. It don't even She'll call that and dump her shit and then be like, you know what? This shit ain't even important. Nigga, I don't want to hear what you got to say. Wait, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. Now I'm, on, now I'm over here all pissed yeah, no. off and shit. You chilling? Yeah, no, 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 no. No way. You don't, tra- you don't get to transfer your energy to me. Block. I'm not Bl- blocking. I'm blizzy. I'm blocking your ass. You nah, crazy. I'm not blocking you because I'm gonna know. I'm I'm, I'm gonna want to fuck you a year and a half from now. <laughs> I know, and that's Once when I'll unblock you. This you. Is. Once we get over this little tip, <laughs> unblock you. Nah, just know I read it. Could you catch me on the wrong day? I'm gonna say too much shit that you ain't gonna want. To never ever speak speak to me again. Are oh, you light skin? Oh shit! Oops. Look, I didn't look, mean it. Look at this I'm sorry. Guy. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm big on that. Though. My bad. What you just said, like. I, I'm not. If, I'm not. I try not to argue emotionally, Burr. like I, because I'll say some shit that maybe I was holding back from saying. And if I say it, then you goofy. And ain't you no sound coming cor- back from. And you sound corny. <laughs> and now I had that yeah. bottled up yep. for mad long. Mm-hmm. Oh, so y'all understand A B without y'all getting hit in the head, huh? Mm. <laughs> what? Say less. Moving right oh, along. Fuck. Moving right along. <laughs> Move right along. This guy. <laughs> this guy is different. Move right along. Shorty would have got me three point one mil though. I'll curb it. Mama's Yo, it's cold out. I hope you bitches got coats. <laughs> I'm hugging some of y'all and I ain't feeling enough feathers. I don't feel enough warmth. <laughs> Yo, that little goose ain't really, it's like a baby goose. Ain't you know? It ain't enough. It ain't down. Yeah, it's a, it's a man. Duck. It's a half a duck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. You, y'all get y'all some feathers, man. It's for real cold. <laughs> nah, Cardi cold. told y'all hoes don't get cold, though. That's what she said? Yeah. She did. She did say that. She Infamously. Did. This is New York. It's, it was 15. She's from New York. It was 15 degrees this morning, my name. And the shit said feels like five. Cardi Heat in her house and car also blows a lot better than them. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. She said this before she had that house and car. Speaking of, why, why don't you have a coat ish? You keep, like, it's five degrees outside. You came out with a hoodie on. Came out of my house, got in the car, drove, got in another car. I'm good. You're not. Take that. But you're not good. That's unacceptable, <laughs> yo. Why? It is 15 degrees outside, and every time the window gets cracked in the car, you cry. <laughs> the door gets open. That's you not, go, that's you not cry. true. When you the trunk like, yo, opens, yo, 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 I can you close that? Yo, it's cold in here. I look at you today yo. and say, yo, it's 15 degrees. You didn't walk out with a cold. You said, I have a car. Uh, I don't get cold. <laughs> like, <laughs> and you do get cold. Yes, that's my only thing. I roll the Damn, window down. You get cold. Yeah, I, I roll the window down in the car. We know. My ears know. <laughs> and I should be sitting in the back seat, freezing your little ball head off. I wasn't cold. Yeah, the because you had your fancy, you had your fancy Gucci, Gucci coat on today. No, I, I, the Gucci blocks the wind a little better than the. <laughs> I had my a little better than the snorkel. My, my mask <laughs> on. No, Marks is the cold. exception, but I've been stopped even dignifying niggas that wear black Tim's still. What? I know. I mean, everybody can't be fresh like that. And you. actually, now that it's I'm looking at the now. Tims, you keep buying the little double rim Tims. These two, these niggas. <laughs> you keep whoa, buying whoa, the wrong. Whoa, whoa, don't say double. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You keep buying the <laughs> wrong Tims. Be clear. Yeah, try, to get see how you be trying to shoot, and I'm not going to say nothing. I'm, I'm going to let you rock. Shoot. Yes, look you at the, are. Yes, look you at are, the top nigga. of the Tim. I know what you. I, I know but what that's not what you said, though. That is not the Tim he's supposed to buy. You've never even seen these Tims before, Joe. Ever. You've never seen them. So don't start lying. Can't get gunshot in there. I, I don't want to fight, bro. You've never seen these boots in your life. In your life, twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how do you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> it's being a part of Black Timberland gang. Oh <laughs> man, yo, something's wrong with you. He works construction, <laughs> nigga. I've been wearing Timberland since the- and, and dresses like it. <laughs> I've been wearing Timberland since you was in. Middle school. Oh, oh take that. God, Damn, yo. talk to that nigga. Put, put it in the cup. I heard I it. I heard it. Put it in the cup. <laughs> this nigga here. <laughs> See what I'm on it. Y'all. It's funny to me. Because I don't say the word. So I just get to laugh and make y'all put it in the cup. He only got big bills now. Oh, he in trouble. It's changing there. Y'all just said it enough today. Who y'all? I still got credit in there. You, you got still said it. $2 in there. I have $3 in there. Yeah, he got three. I've said it twice. He put five in I'm not group. you, yo. I say I've it, but said it three times. to emphasize I was calling only. you the word. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> you can't do that. Uh, okay. That don't make sense. I uh, know. Uh, let's see. It, uh, and it has to be noted that Cardi B went back and forth with Cuban Doll. That's girl business. I'm staying out of it. I saw them. I don't know. I don't know. Who's it Cuban don't, Doll? Yeah. It don't matter. It don't oh, even matter. Okay. It's none of our business. Yeah. Salute we to stay those. out of women's business. Salute to those here. women. Yeah. Yeah. Salute. I'm mad that women think that podcasting is just guys gossiping. 
because a lot of the male podcasters are just gossipers. I want to tell them, like, if I get the gossip, and y'all going to hate this part. <laughs> <laughs> or love yeah, it. we be trying not to gossip. You don't want yeah, to hear what I we I think about this shit. I get to the gossip. I know the gossip, too. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't one of them that's going to guess. I'm going to tell you what's going on. <laughs> I be trying to protect people. Anyway, uh, this, guy is, this guy is a child. Yo. You rubbing up. Yo, <laughs> you rubbing up. Joe, you're the clumsiest person I might have ever met in my life. <laughs> you going to say I'm a child? Because when I do it, it's clumsy. When what, so when it, I do it, it's what? With black tins on? <laughs> yeah. that's, yeah, that's not, You can't even spill nothing on them. You spill shit every day. Go ahead. Move on, bro. <laughs> Shut up. You know? What do I have? What do I have? What is important? Well, well we got to salute um, the fact that Maya Angelou is the first black woman to appear on the quarter. Absolutely. Still need the, we have to salute that. Still need the Harriet Dubs. <laughs> yeah, they just going to rock us to sleep with the quarter. Well, a little quarter. On a, on, a, the... on a quarter of currency. They've, they've put some black women on a quarter before, and it's sold. We had to do it crazy. <laughs> but on currency, I'm so mad he said this shit. on mad oh. quarters with black girls on it. You ain't catch what he's saying. Just call it. So big, yo. <laughs> it's like they sell quarters. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, they stop telling trades. <laughs> Nigga buying Nick still. Come on. Maya Angelou becomes first black woman to appear on a quarter, and you can get one now. Yo, they always trying to diss black people, yo. Why are they going to tell us we can get a quarter? See, I want a quarter. See what my brain go to? Oh, it's available now. Yeah, that's, that's what, what they, they mean. Mean. All right. Now you can get it. It's Maya in circulation. Angelou is making history once again. The late prolific poet and civil rights activist who died at the age of 86 in 2014 has become the first black woman to be featured on the U.S. quarter. Who's on the, is she on the front side or the back side? That's the front. Okay. That's the front. But the, the fucked up part is, we slowly doing away with coins. <laughs> so now y'all gonna get cave in and give us this? This is some bullshit, man. <laughs> give me Harriet on the $20 bill, man. Yeah, I told y'all when that was announced, y'all never getting that. Stinking money. That's not happening. You gave us this shit when we were on the crypto. Word. <laughs> I done finally learned how to use my Apple Pay. Now y'all went to the store. Just walk in the store, they like, uh, we don't have no coins. Right. What the fuck you talking about? I know it's only 14 cent change, but uh, I hate them niggas that pay with Apple Pay. I hate Oh, that's me. You hate me. You hate me. You hate me. I don't shop if they don't have it. I hate y'all, y'all. Because I'm standing in line right behind you when and you I'm do this. Quickly in and I'm in and out. When you put your little phone <laughs> Before you can get your wallet. <laughs> phone. <laughs> phone. <laughs> phone. <laughs> Stumble for a card. I don't use my phone. That's oh, use your watch? Yeah, use your watch for that, fam. Come on. Two clicks. In and out. Bloop, bloop. Okay, bloopy. That's it. Fuck out of here. Okay. Parks don't believe in a water scheme. We got an Apple Watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of a water scheme. I just want to point out the hypocrisy <laughs> around here. <laughs> I learned about you, Help gentlemen. Every pod. Help, Help me water out. Water scheme that. outrageous. This though, <laughs> this shit work. <laughs> so does so that water scheme. <laughs> so does that water. They but this me, shit is what it's supposed to be. They give you that shit Hudson's costs the same as that water costs. Like giving you the that Hudson shit costs science. what the boule water costs. That markup is way... Of course you don't believe in the water scheme. <laughs> They're getting you way better. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I like this shit. I love it, so... You like water, too. All right. Uh, I like water. Yeah, uh, congratulations to the late Maya Angelou. Yeah, I don't so. care if they're doing away with coins. Still Me, a good gesture. Still, dope. Yeah. still a no, good I'm deed. Still, I'm joking, but... You know. <laughs> yeah, they're honoring 20 women, and she's a part of that 20, so... Oh, uh, time out. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't give her her own flow? It's a series. A series of quarters? Yes. Uh, hey, yo. If you... It's the American Woman Quarters Program. <laughs> they picked 20 women. <laughs> and only one of them was black. <laughs> yo, the U.S. boy. They lead with that one, though. They're the first two. I don't cool. even think they... Um, Maya Angelou and Dr. Sally Ride. I don't know they mean it when they put like G Depp or somebody on it. <laughs> Take this money. Somebody that yo, you're stupid. Somebody that probably shouldn't be honored when they just start doing that. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. This I thought bold. she was going to oh. be on a twenty five cent coin for Oh going forward. History. Like, that's it. Yes. No, that's no, 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 no. Collector item? Yeah, it's a collector item. So it's a one off. You shocked? Yo. No. Good old America boy. Man. Well, yep. <laughs> moving right along. Y'all mad at that though? I'm just asking. I'm not trying to. Joe's not mad at anything. 
I'm not mad. I'm not going to say I'm mad, but I, I don't want... When you yell, they say you rebel. When you yell, they say you rebel. <laughs> when you yell, they say you rebel. <laughs> you yell, they say you rebel. <laughs> and I'm just I'm talking to myself. Um, Joe's not mad at word. anything. I want peace, love, health, wealth, prosperity, and light for everyone. In quarters. No, or no, or not. No quarters. No, no quarters. quarters. I'm not mad at it. Taco Bell selling chicken. Y'all in? No. No. No, no, Sub- no, 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 wait, wait, chicken. wait, time out. I'm going to try it. I'm going to be real. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to y'all. You a nigga. I'm never going to stop saying nigga. nigga. No, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. calling him nigga. You're somebody nigga. somebody <laughs> said, yo. Even when I stop using that word, I'm going to call Ice a nigga, yo. Yo, yo. yeah. Hammer, Hammer, MC Hammer called me one. He said it was the only time he ever used it. I believe you. I believe him, too. But, um. <laughs> that's that's that a wild Snapple fact. It is. He was like, yo, I've never used this word, but nigga, please. I was like, damn. Honored, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try that because somebody told me it, it's on point with the McDonald's Mighty Wings, and I used to love those. Gross. Listen, you, you can take the nigga out the hood. Hopefully, one of these days, yeah, you shit yourself standing up. No, <laughs> <laughs> damn. <laughs> Put down the fast food the, for life. The hood will come out the nigga. There's not gonna be no time. Yeah, niggas is such niggas, yo. Nobody. I don't hear a peep about the Popeyes chicken sandwich anymore. Because they stepped on it. It ain't the same OG sandwich. That work is cut now. Fam, I know. I bought one last uh, no, no. month ago. It wasn't bad. Nope. No. The same sandwich. No, it's not the same sandwich. Ask anybody who had the... But they the, changed the, the pickle? The, they changed the recipe. They yo, ran man. out of chicken and then came back with some other shit. We Nagardly, yo. I'm telling you, bro. If you had that OG sandwich, and then when they, they stopped it because they ran out of chicken, when you come back, I ran to it again. Oh, good. We back. Fuck is this? This ain't. It's like your aquapana shit. That was a chicken scheme. Mm. That's what it was. I've been eating the OG chicken sandwiches. I know what the OG mm. chicken sandwich tastes like. Y'all miraculously ran out at all Popeyes everywhere, and then a month later, everybody got chicken sandwiches now, and they're not going anywhere no more. It's not a limited time. They've never run out again, even though. And they've never run out again. That's no. just common sense tells you they did something different to it. Or it Do ain't you believe chicken in now. the mattress firm scam? Yes. Wait, wait, put me on. I'm not hip. Me either. The mattress firm scam is that they're really they're actually laundering money because it's too many mattress firms in a sh- small. There's a lot of mattress firms. Lot of mattress. Ain't that many well, mattresses being sold? Full of mattresses. Nah. Ain't nobody buying them. Just like nobody's buying them. They're saying mattress firm is a storefront. Mm-hmm. I'm in. I'm definitely rolling. Because when you pull up a map and just look at how many in an area, you be like, damn, it's seven right here. I buy a mattress once a Yo, lifetime. Back in, back in. <laughs> But nah, I believe it. Why is Timberland saying that the Weeknd's album is the closest thing to Thriller or whatever the fuck he said? He said Timberland he, catches he heat after that. comparing the Weeknd's Dawn FM album to Michael Jackson's Thriller. Yo, Tim, if you want to produce for the Weeknd, just say that, yo. <laughs> this was similar to Thriller uh, because it scared children. <laughs> and that's the, probably the only thing similar. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm shutting up because the Weeknd is taking aim at his critics... Oh, yeah? And I don't want to be one of them that he takes aim at. You know why he taking aim at his critics? They said the numbers was coming back a little. <laughs> he did what he brought back 170. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty light for a... That's very light for him. Yeah. Well, by comparison, the previous album did 444. Ice checked. Week one. He didn't have a single this time. Okay. You are that level of artist where you can do your rollout of, hey, we're dropping. 170 is is I don't I don't like the flop word, but it's borderline that for him. It's a flop. We and, tried playing this Jim shit. Jim Carrey is hosting your shit and you we, do 170. We so. tried playing this shit on Friday night and was like mm-hmm. It's like turn this off, I can't get hot of this. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Had the bong sitting on the table. <laughs> I, I was like, God uh, no. Nah. Timberland maybe is just lying for his man. Who's his man? The weekend. Oh. A couple of people were hitting me saying, yo, man, you need to go back and revisit that project. Listen yeah, to it saying, again. Said it get better and I will. I will. I'm just not rushing to. And if, it, if, if, if I go back and listen and I love it, I'll say that. Y'all take consumer time for granted. Like, I heard the album. I put time to the side to hear the album. And you know what happened since? Mad TV shows, songs, albums, podcasts, podcasts, things that demand my listening attention have come out. Apps, fucking girls are texting. Like, the, the window passed. 
now you want me to ignore all of those things and maybe go back to the weekend album that I didn't like in the first place if I find time. See, here, here's, okay. my, here's my thing about that argument. I'll let you know next year when you don't care. <laughs> here's my thing about that argument when they say, oh, go back and listen again. Oh, you just got to listen to it a couple more times, let it grow on you. Well, duh. If I keep playing something over and over, I'm going to program myself to like the shit. I'm right. not trying to do that. If it grabbed me on the first listen, cool. If I find certain things I like that I'll go back to, cool. Right. There's a couple like, solos. I want to like what you did. I don't want to like what I did, which is keep playing it. Yeah, I'm not going to make myself like it. Like, I go Kanye's album. Mm -hmm. I gave that a six at first. Mm -hmm. But you know what happened is the, there were a bunch of records that I did like. I go back listening to those, mm -hmm. and then I might not turn it off after that song. Then I hear the next record, and I'm like, Oh shit! You should I? It's like next thing you know, I like a whole stretch of songs. Right. Kanye might never see his wife again. <laughs> he don't even know how to fucking cheat and make your wife mad. Like he don't even know how to do it. Yeah, he don't know how to. You turn don't it do up. it with a twenty-two year old, and you don't do it with a fan of your wife. <laughs> That's not what's gonna do it. As soon as it came out that that girl was a fan of Kim, I said, "Oh, watch this." And sure enough, just opened my phone and read it. Kim has no problem with them dating. She'd rather deal with a fan than a hater. <laughs> Shit. That's a headshot. You, you got to learn how to make your ex mad, yo. Well, I mean, you shouldn't. Because that's bad. That's a headshot. But you though. should have it in the tuck. <laughs> in case it becomes important one day. <laughs> that's, yeah. 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 You, fucking you can't date a fan of you. You fucking want my fans? Oh, have a blast. <laughs> she modeled in skims. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> he losing, yo. Yo, he's down. He losing, yo. He's down tremendously. I know bro. I started this fight out on his side. Yeah. I, I did. I argued with fucking Ish to Nail about it. No, I'm just saying, I don't I know still agree I with what I said, but he's losing. He down bad. Because he doing everything IQ, and I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Kim and Peter just chilling. Sharing some laughs. Movies, bowling. You know what roller mean? skating. They Slot doing shit. mad fun shit. <laughs> You just out here trying to be seen. Are you talking back there? Are you Where, farting? What are you, like, what, what are you doing, doing back there? Yeah, yeah. Like, I can hear you. <laughs> Whatever you're doing. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Alex. He like, ooh, ooh, oh, uh, y'all had headphones. I can't uh, hear uh, Oh, he likes her. Uh, he likes her. Hey, shut up, man. <laughs> he don't That's even know what's coming through the microphone. <laughs> they not used um, to that. Y'all said two chains album coming this week, right? Friday. I heard I heard one of the songs, two of the songs. I heard the single. Dope, and, don't sell it, sell. And he just dropped a concert in the Metaverse uh, night before last. How was it? It was turnt. Did he play any songs off the new album? No. He did the hits. Mm. Smart. And it, it, it was it, they have what's called uh always on. Uh huh. Certain. Artists where you could just pop in at any time. The concert is on a loop. Okay. So you can go in. Like Snoop had an amazing set in there. Hmm. Uh, Young Thugs is still playing. They started on New Year's and I think his is coming to an end. But 2 Chains just started. 2 Chains, this is my issue with me, not him. Girls mm -hmm. Love Trap was His rebrand tricks us Classic. into thinking that he should still be the number one, two, three, four, or fifth best rapper out there. Mm -hmm. Because of how powerful his rebrand was in 2010 or whenever that was. Mm -hmm. But he's been around long enough now, to where this is where he should kind of be. It's the same what? as the Ross thing to me. At that, at that yeah, space. Yeah, kind of. Okay. So I'm where like, I'm not necessarily competing with y'all. But then he went on like a, a kind of a, another rebrand too where he was starting to rap over Soul Beats a little bit more and... Rapping, rapping a little bit more. The older niggas seem like they have a hard time getting these checks cut from the label. That may be the case. Seem like it. I don't know, because I don't know nobody's business, but I'd have had to call Snoop or somebody at Def Jam. Hmm. Your raise awareness. I don't care how. Shout out to 2 Chains, and you promised me a Chris Brown single this uh, this week. It's supposed to be coming this week. It's supposed to be. It is. Now you sound like Nigga. Just bleep it. Come on. <laughs> Just bleep it. <laughs> it went real quick from it's dropping to it's supposed to happen. Yo, that's the date. It's supposed to be coming this week. I know. I know. I hope it does. Iffy. That's the name of it. Iffy. Iffy? What? I don't care. Uh, oh, I'm not going to like that anyway. <laughs> All right. Never mind. He, do, he doing that. Could be if he. Mmm. Little play on words. 
I'm going to just keep it pushing. Yo, ever <laughs> since I bought overalls that women tell me to never wear, everyone has overalls. But I'm just going to keep going. Uh, <laughs> what else is important? Uh, the fake son was fake. We don't know where Stephen A. Smith is. We can just and everybody. I'm done. I'm done. Sleepers it is. Sounds I'm like done. Sleepers. Unless y'all want to talk about when Quincy Jones told the truth in that interview and everybody said he's crazy and see now he got dementia and don't listen to him, including his grandkids. I ain't see it. I'll go watch it though, so we can talk about it. I'll pull it up. We're gonna talk about it right on Patreon. <laughs> yeah. He was he was dropping gems on him. Yeah, everybody, about what everybody happened from the sixties. About what happened when the Quaaludes came through. I remember that. They shut him he down. He was wilding he was for wilding. a minute. Why was he wilding? It versus telling the truth. Uh, sometimes the truth is wilding. See, fam, Quincy Jones should be able to tell us what everybody was doing in the studio, yo. True. He was there. That's his truth and his experience. But see, it's like when I hit X's and be like, yo, why are you saying that about me? That wasn't true. That was my truth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bitch. Pay up. No. no. Oh, you, you, you paid up. I got you. You luck. prepaid. Yeah, prepaid. You're on the easy pass. <laughs> yo, women are great, yo. If you push me away, I'm going to keep walking. Well, <laughs> yeah. <That's>, thanks. <laughs> You clearly couldn't take a hit before. I've been pushing you away for a year. You finally now got the strength to keep walking. On that note, thank God. Free Tristan Thompson, man. Free him from what? He's a doof. Nah, man. He's trying to get her to walk away, and she won't. Oh, that was a bad way he tried to do it. He, he, he's tried that'll, every that'll, other way. That'll do it. Coming her. No, 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 no. I'm talking about his girl, Chloe. He's trying to get out of that, and she just won't leave. I've done everything, i violated everything possible, and you won't leave. Yeah, I hate when the apology works. <laughs> like, they stay. And I'm not talking about this no more. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. That's ice. That's ice. That is ice. Yo, man, thank y'all for listening. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Uh, and remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all that we have. Hey, yo, cool Mo D, treat them right, man. Don't go leaking no more your little grade report cards. <laughs> Be nice to your, your old peers and competitors. And do remember the baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and the closed minded women want you to teach them things. Y'all want to congratulate G-Spin for winning our big money fantasy football uh, league. Round of applause. Congratulations. I want to congratulate for... myself. Nah, don't try to give my praise at the end, nigga. I want to congratulate myself for winning our free money league. Little money league. It's little money. Oh, the $100, right? Yeah, what I, what I win? 800 or some shit? We up in. 700 or some shit? Six. Yeah. Get you a, a scarf nice money hat. for sure. Get you a bucket. Got it. Got it. I understand. Y'all hold it down out there, same time, same place, Saturday. Enough, Daddy.